What is my, what is, what is this piece? Ugh. I gotta get my hat. Looking like a fucking ape. Looking like a fucking ape. Shalom, everybody. Hello. Hello. My hair really is just get abysmal right today. Out of here. What is up with this? We gotta launch this? Rocky, sorry. He's being launched off screen. And it's going to be beautiful. I oh. saw some, some resubs from Kate and Big Melon Boy Sam. Exciting stuff. And a Hello. 13 months from Pizza Rolls. Oh, I think that's our first 13 month subscriber. That's so exciting. Whoa. We're not like fully set up yet because we're bad. I accidentally wrote 6 p.m. instead of 6.30 p.m. And then we all just committed to it, but none of us were ready. <laughs> I was ready. Well, technically I was too, but it was a, it was a rush job. <laughs> uh -huh. Bazinga. Let me move the microphone. Omar be setting up her computer so we can Life read chat. Uh, Mega Nando subscribed. Thank Welcome you. to the party, Mega Nando. Wow. Why is this cut off? Hello. Oh. Oh, because it's behind OPS. Never mind. Ooh, thanks for the 100 bits, Butler. Woo! Excuse me, you missed my 13 months? I guess I did. Yep. <laughs> was it the stream that I wasn't here for? Because that would make sense. Stream froze. Are you sure? It's fine for me. Ha ha. <laughs> Take that. <gasps> thanks for the follow, Shannon B. Thank you. Thank you very much. <gasps> Butler's gifting one tier sub to Team Egg Troops community. <gasps> to Egg Sune. <gasps> Thank you, Butler. A seven tailed egg. Nine tails? How many tails do Kitsunes be having? Is it nine? Yeah, I think. Right? I don't think it actually matters. Isn't that the Naruto? I thing? think it's just the Naruto. Well, and What's like up, the Pokemon. Naruto? But then I feel like yeah, Kyubi not... only has seven. Now you got it. Like the the yokai. How many tails does QB got? Think of think of the Pokemon. What predates Naruto? Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know if it has to be. Um, uh, hello. If it has to be nine, I think it's nine. Nine, nine. Usually, I'm pretty sure it's nine. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's nine. <gasps> Baller also gifted a sub to Fran Mutual. Thanks, Thank you. Man. All right. I'm opening yokai watch to look at QB. I'm, <laughs> I'm not fucking around with this. <laughs> I'm just curious. Oh my god, you're so curious. I feel like they didn't slap nine tails on that bitch, and I want to know. We're just gonna goof around for like a little bit because we usually start at six thirty, so I feel like we should yeah, just mess around we, before we just get into serious shit. Just allow some people to show up. I'm gonna eat some yep. pasta did we tweet stage. and <laughs> and Chandler's got to eat yep, some pasta. I did that. Okay, cool. Oh, there's Shadow Side Q. Let's to look at him. Was my eat nothing juice. Shit. Shadow Side Cube, he's got nine. <laughs> well, I mean, of course he would have nine tails. He's the edgy one. Okay, I think they do have nine. Yeah. I just wasn't sure. I had seven in my head for some reason is also a real it's number. It's eight, right? It's eight, right? <laughs> eight legs. <gasps> oh my god, oh my steam god. powered giraffe. Omar, get me a chip clip. Uh, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for a chip clip. Why do I need a chip we clip? So I can clip so this. It, it makes the lighting better. I have, what happened to the one that was there? I don't know. It's probably on, like, my rice or something stupid. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> rice. Ryan. Am I right? <laughs> rice? <laughs> I don't think it is. Don't be racist, Hugo. What? <gasps> yeah, Hugo. Did you find one? Not over here. No! I hope you enjoy the audioscape of searching for a chip clip. Could you do it with one of my fine binder clips? Yes! I can't do it with a sticky note like I just tried to, though. I didn't find a chip clip, but I did find a very small froggy chair. Yes! Uh, I got printed. It's impossible to say. Nando just gifted wow! your one subs. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Oh my god. Now that's poggers. Yeah. Froggy chair. It's very small. Hold on. Thank you so much, Mega Nando. 
Welcome to the community. Yes. All right. Uh, b -b 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 chair. I am going to file new. We've got a little bit of a different um, stream set up today so that you guys can see it, the layers tab and mm -hmm. nothing on the bottom is covered up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very cool. You don't need to see the navigator or the color yeah. swatches, so... Just know nothing exciting is happening up there. You're not missing anything. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. might be a stream we put on YouTube. Create video timeline! Yeah, I know a lot of people were asking like for us to save and show, upload we this. We are recording stream. it, so... Yep. We record every stream, we just never do anything <laughs> with them. Nope! Yeah, I can upload it on my channel if you guys want. I don't mind. I mind! I ah. personally... Mind? No. Mind? So oh I'm just not going to explain anything I'm doing right now so that we can actually explain it later. Press X to mind. What the heck? Press X to mind? Press sex to rhyme? No. <laughs> Let's see. While we, while we wait for the masses to arrive, I wonder Three if I've got, I've got any funny images on my phone. <laughs> God. And we do have the Rocky PP Disaster pick. Yes, oh, the was... Rocky PP Disaster that pick! Good. Show that one, right? Oh, you don't know. It was. <laughs> so we took Rocky right, to the on, store gonna... one time, and oh. this happened. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Here's here's the epic. Look at the guilt in his eyes. I'm the guilt! Zoom in. As if Rocky has ever felt shame, literally ever. <laughs> Rocky PP disaster. <laughs> it's very look at the sadness, the guilt. He knows what he did. <laughs> the tank <laughs> was full. No, you guys were right to distrust it. It was somebody dropped a gallon of iced tea and it just exploded. Yeah. But Rocky was right there and I was like, wait, <laughs> hold him up for a second. It was very good. It, it is not... If Rocky peed that much, I would take him to the hospital. That's what I thought. There's no way all of that liquid could be in him. That's more, that's more pee than dog. I've got... This really, really good blurry picture of a guy screaming. He's more hot. Can I see? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. It's really good. I've got, and I've got, in my, if I scroll to the left here, I've got another blurry picture of a guy's face zoomed in. I think it's Gordon Ramsay, actually. Um. <laughs> this is, just so you know, all of you, how animation is done. Oh, yeah, it really is. <laughs> now the the Bungo Boys is a good pick. This is good too. The Bungo Boys. Ha ha. Hee hee. Ha ha. funny video I have saved? Oh. Wait. Hold on, I have a game. Can you guess the celebrity look-alike? What- Stop! Oh! Stop! <laughs> Stop! What, what celebrity, what celebrity looks, like looks, this? looks like this? <laughs> looks like this? Looks like Ducky. What's on your shirt, Hugo? Uh, no. <gasps> Salito okay. Matonic! <laughs> yeah. It's RuPaul. Thank you, Selena. <laughs> Have we talked about Mitchell. this already? Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. My shirt. Almost definitely. My shirt is Nobi Nobi Boy. It's a Keita <laughs> Takahashi game. You may know him for Katamari. Cat of Mari. RuPaul looks exactly like Ducky. Like it's a one to one. They look exactly the same. Hold on one second. What are you what are you getting, Omar? The evidence. Is that the green one or is that just RuPaul? That's the green one. It's kinda hard to tell. Yeah. Dishwasher possum. Dishwasher possum. Nice. Nice. We got the hype terrain. Ah! We 
we got a free oh, emote. Sure. I don't know what that means or how to use them or what it means. It's ugly. Okay. I don't oh. like it. It's a weird screaming man <laughs> and it's ugly. It's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Did Rocky pee? He's going upstairs. Going upstairs to pee. I might throw him into crazy. Yeah, do that. Rocket pee? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that that show uh, from 90s Nick? Might as well be. We Why does my arm. Why? Mission, action, mission. This webcam makes my arm look so muscular. It's because you're ripped, Hugo. Hugo's ripped. It's, you it's, heard it here first. Hugo 1%, baby. Hugo is the 1%. I don't know why. I don't know what's up with that. My, I, This thing is not... This does not translate. I should favor the bottom pose a little bit How more. hard do you want have to piss? Ask Rafi. Pretty Ask hard. One. Hugo has muscle. I'm, I don't. Prove it. I don't, though. Prove it's just, it. It's Prove digital it. What muscle. What is this modesty? You always talk about how ripped you are. I used, yeah. I used to be ripped, but I'm not now. We gotta get ripped. Let's get one of those, um... Well, let's get Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, good luck. And do uh, that. Mm-hmm. Steal somebody's ring fit adventure. Yeah, uh, Sleepless Sea, we are using a plugin and we will explain that when the tutorial begins. Yeah, we're just goofing around a little bit until like 6 30 ish when people are here. Here's a funny guy. <laughs> Look at him go! This is how you animate. Okay, now, now we can get into some <laughs> goofy timing. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, you know that uh, gif of a dog head that, like, they, like, cut out the body so it's mm. just the head flopping? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what it is! Now we're talking. That's a funny oh, yeah. Yeah. Funny man. This is just, this is what I live for. It's about time. We've done this. We got 60 people here, so like, I feel like- ah! we're, Okay. We're like, we don't need to wait another 15 minutes. Fuck! You're right. So yeah, no. Let me just finish in betweening my dog. Don't worry, it's only two more drops. Oh my god, this is gonna take a hundred years of in betweening dogs. Nice. Epic Minecraft moment. We should have more epic Minecraft moments. No. Oh, I meant that like as an abstract statement, not as like we should play more Minecraft. Nobody get your hopes up. No. It's too stressful. <laughs> Ryan's bad at the cube game. I am very bad at the cube Shame game. Shame him. Well, don't do that. Shame, Ryan, for being bad at funny cube game. Oh, did I? Oh, I think I in between this wrong. <laughs> yeah, but play it through anyway. <laughs> no, I in between it, it wrong. Boo. Oh! Uh, All right, where's that frame supposed to yes. go, though? What did I do? I don't know. Did what? you move a frame? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? What do I do? Why? Whoa! Right, this frame is not where it's supposed to be. Pompadour says, Ha ha, you suck at cube game. Ha ha ha. ha, ha no! Ha. I don't know how I did this. That's alright, I'll just... Good doggy on epic. Good I think I just in between from the wrong side. Oh, you're using the, <laughs> the Joy-Con. I just watched it, like, on draw <laughs> itself. And I was like, what the fuck? Good doggy. That's fine, no in-betweens for the doggy. Alright, Hugo, you said you wanted to fuck around? Yeah, I'm gonna fuck okay, around. Okay, Hugo. 
You go fuck first. You go fuck mm. first. Hmm. Okay, then we'll move out of the way. I will poo. Um, do you want... I was gonna start with a fresh file. Um, you can just delete that folder. I'm not yeah. attached to this little dog. This little like, dog. this is a fresh file. Delete your blog. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what we all animate in is, you know, Photoshop. But the trick is we've got this thing here, which is the Animdesin toolbar. And if you want to download it, just look it up. Animdesin 2, this is the second version. And you'll find a Vimeo link, and you can click on that, and all the downloads will be in how to do it is in the description. So um, you do need to have um, Creative Cloud Photoshop, though. Yes. There's a there's an old version that'll nope. never worked for me. Or oh, worked for me. I've tried that one like a million times. Yeah. And it's, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, there's something you have to do, like, with your drive. But also, you can get Photoshop CC for like 10 bucks a month yes. if you do the photography plan in Adobe, which gives you Lightroom and Photoshop, and I think that's 10 bucks a month. Yeah. Yeah. Might be 20. And I'm sure somebody somewhere has cracked one of the versions of it, so like, do that. Not that we endorse that, but like, just do that. I endorse not supporting Adobe, but they pay my bills. Yeah. Yeah. Um... So the cool thing that Animdesin does is it gives you this handy little toolbar that can create frames without you having to fucking, like... Because what you used to do before the Animdesin days is you'd make a new layer and it would just immediately be, like, five seconds long and yeah. you'd have to trim it down to, like, if you wanted to use ones or twos or threes every single time. Because for whatever reason, Photoshop in 2020 does not have, like, a native tool for... Um, like setting the default right. frame length because if you could just set the default frame length to one everything would be so much easier right yeah. but thankfully we have this um, and hopefully you guys can see like what the little icons are um, but the first thing is if you want to make a new file you click this little uh, director card here um, but if you don't want to do that and you just already have this open oh yeah I didn't, wanna, I didn't set wanna, the frame rate <gasps> What you want to, yeah, this is something that you should check every time. Yeah. Um, check your uh, frame rate. Um, see, right now it's 30, which Whoops. is what you don't want to animate in because it will be a nightmare. So <laughs> you want to set it won't it even to, be like that much of a nightmare until you have to like put it in something else yeah. and you realize yeah. you've made yeah. it at the wrong frame rate. And it's like, no! Yeah, so you want to do 24 frames per second. Make sure you check that, and that's, you can find that, you click the, there's like four little uh, lines down here. Set frame rate. Um, so, let's see, what should I start off with? So, um, to make a new oh, video. One sec, you go. Uh, the pronoun bubble is not hiding any frame rate, or is not hiding any information. It's literally just the color palette right there. Yeah, it's just... And the then color. behind the camera is just the navigator, which is just a mini view. Oh, I moved the wrong thing. Which is just a mini view of the Photoshop window. Like, you're not missing anything. Yeah. I, it's, I specifically set up the PSD, or the OBS layout, so that it's not mm -hmm. getting in the way of shit. Yeah. Um, and I guess I can, I can talk about that, too. Um, when I use Photoshop to animate, I don't usually have it set up like this. I have it so it's like you're drawing like full screen, and I just have my uh, layers box and my anim dust and thing like floating around, so I can just like move it off screen and pick it up when I need it. Same with the timeline. I like um, having stuff locked in. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> it's totally up to preference. Um, Feels sturdier. Yeah. So uh, your video group layers is. Um, what you're gonna like categorize oh. your different things as. So this um, um let me just keep talking, sorry. I'm just so, moving stuff. Uh, you can oh, you can it. set a background layer. Oh you go, you it. go, you can't hmm? you can't touch it. Oh okay. You've I don't oh, wait, oh, I don't wait, know where that sec. went now. Sorry, one sec. <laughs> um I was moving the donation thing and then you touched the screen and then it disappeared because it moved it like I think off of the thing. What? Well, that's gone now. One second. Just a little bit of uh, troubleshooting. 
Well, I don't. I I just straight up don't know how to get it back. Reset. Aha! I've reset the transformation. Oh, there we go. Well, if I copied it, it would also copy it to where it is non-existent. Okay, cool. found it. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um. I didn't account for the double digits. So your your bottom layer is going to be your background layer. I just set it as a color. Um, and then to make a new video group, there's a little like film reel thing, and you click that, new video group. And I'm just going to use that as like the the line you, you art. Can, Ooh, can, also, I, can I jump in? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say the same thing. I think if you click this icon, mm -hmm. then it makes a new video group with a frame in it. Yeah. So like that's a just handy way to make a new video group when you know you need to put something in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Frankie. So there's um there's two handy frame buttons. There's one and there's a two. Um now you can animate on ones if you so choose, but it's kinda it's a little bit harder and it takes a lot, lot longer. Stop. Um and it you you usually want to use it when you want something specifically to look like extremely smooth or something really fast, like a smear frame. But typically you're gonna wanna animate on twos or if you wanna get like crazy to animate on threes and fours because sometimes like chunky limited animation looks really cool too. I do like a lot of the commercial stuff I do is like threes and like fives. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, I like I like to I like to do stuff a little more chunky. Especially if you're doing like commercial stuff, like start really low frame rate and then be mm -hmm. like, you want me to in between this? Yeah. And a lot of the times they don't because it looks fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun stuff. Um. It. The Animation Studio Trigger sort of, um, I wouldn't say popularized it, but they're known for like using like really like crazy spacing. Like it'll be like yeah. all fives and then they'll throw in like five ones or like, <laughs> it's, it's oh, really you cool. Go, don't click mm -hmm. anything again for just a second? Okay, sure. go back. I just wanted the, um, that window to yeah, be big. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to do like a line boil thing just to like show the basic stuff. So, um... You can you can start with like a line art layer or a sketch layer. Oops, let me not draw in the same color as the background. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna draw a little circle. I highly recommend threes and fours. I think they're just yeah. fun. That's like I just I like, like the way they look more than twos usually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, twos is like the standard, I guess. Yeah. Um, twos is what they use in TV animation. Ones mm -hmm. is like old Disney features back when they still did, uh... 2D. Yeah, 2D. Well, I guess their 3D stuff is also oh. on ones. Home start, um, 12 frames per second is twos. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're animating... Like, I know some people just cut out the middleman instead of animating at 24 frames per second. They set their file to 12 and then just put everything on ones, but it's still the same yeah. as twos. But I... Yeah. that It's mm, hard to... For me, I don't fuck with that, because I love threes. I love yeah. threes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes ones. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, if, you, if you leave it on um, 24 frames per second, that just like, that's sort of the standards and you can fuck with it as much as you want. Um, there like isn't a deal with 30 FPS, Butler. Just just make sure you aren't animating it. Yeah. 30 FPS is like for games and like live action TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then 24 is for animation. Yeah. Um, so when you're ready to make your next frame... You can hit the hit the two or the one or whatever you'd like to do, but the handy thing, another handy thing that um, Anim Dustin has is the onion skin. Oh, love her. Um, and you can turn it on by hitting this. Check the onion skin settings. Yeah. I can set to three spacing. Okay, so you can so you, you see here you can see you can have it so it's like you see one frame before, one frame after. We're gonna set it to two. Set the frame spacing to two. See, and there it shows up. Um, and you can set the opacity, you can set the blend mode. Right now it's on multiply, that's like the standard thing, but there's also like normal, screen, difference. Screen and difference are good for when you're coloring something that's like really oh, geez, geez. dark. Grace, hey! <laughs> Grace, you oh, from upstairs. Geez, oh my god, did you draw that? Yeah, this is my best mm -hmm. circle yet. I'm um, just to answer a question real quick. Phantasmagore Glitch said, is it possible to animate with other programs like Fire Alpaca? Last time I checked, Fire Alpaca doesn't have any animation support. But there are a lot of programs that do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I know Clip Studio got animation, mm -hmm. like, not super recently, but kind of recently. Yeah. And I would love to try that out, honestly. Yeah, I but. heard it's kind of hard. My friend was showing mm -hmm. me some 
I've seen it do some, some hoops stuff. you gotta jump through yeah. to get things okay. really easy. I've seen it do some stuff that Photoshop can't really do that made me kind of hype. Mm -hmm. But, like, with keyframing and stuff that Photoshop is really bad at. Yeah, uh, so for, um, uh, for this stream, we're, we're gonna be talking about, and right now we're gonna be talking specifically about animating using the Animdesin plugin in Photoshop. Yes. Um, Love her. And then we're gonna go through some of our own personal animation mm -hmm. and the kind of our workflow for that, um, which you can apply to other things. Yeah, I'll definitely yeah. be able to show you some examples of really low frame rate shit. Yeah. Because yeah. I know, like, my file has some stuff in there that's on, like, fours and fives probably mm -hmm. and mine has a lot of things on ones mm -hmm. yeah me and omar are the opposite ends of the spectrum <laughs> mm -hmm. uh yeah so yeah anim Dustin makes everything easier than old photoshop without it um but yeah that's the the onion skin thing and if that's not enough of a difference for you you can here let me let me draw the next frame first you can actually set the frames to be different colors oh it's the best and I'll show you what I mean by that. If Photoshop um, didn't have this, I would have learned how to use TV Paint. So, um, you can you can still see like the ghost behind yeah, here, yeah. what you're um, drawing <laughs> you on. But you can change like with these three over here. You can see the actually it's being covered. Let me scoot it over. So you see these over here. You can set. Let's make it green or whatever. So this frame is now green. So you can kind of if here. Let me and I'll set this one to red. You want to turn off um, onion skin and scrub back and forth for just a sec. Yeah. Yeah, because like th those green and red settings, it's like, can I can I drive for just a second? Yeah, go ahead. What it's doing is it's just like a shortcut for um, this layer style blending option, and it just sets it to a color overlay. Mm -hmm. So you can do it manually or manually, but you just get the option to do it using. Yeah, and it's way easier, and it's not permanent. Yeah, and you can clear it by clicking the yeah. little clear button. Yeah, so it's just like a fun little mm -hmm. extra thing you can do. All right. Yeah. So I'm, I don't need those right now, so I'm going to turn them off. But they are a fun option. It's, it's very helpful when you're doing like some detailed animation. You have a lot of lines overlapping. Getting yeah. that color differentiation really helps for in-betweening. All right, so I'm just going to draw a third circle. And, and because I have it set on two, I can see both of my circles. So yeah. Not that it matters, because I'm literally just tracing a circle. Oh, we but... fully learned all of this on our own. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, a lot of teachers um, were like, don't use Photoshop, and then we did. And we were and like, we what were else really... can we use? And they're like, we don't have access to any animation programs. <laughs> and we're like, well, this is the one that we can afford. Well, we're going to use Photoshop since we have it. Yeah. Uh, and we've gotten all our work that way. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, cool. So um, I just set my... Um, Boil, I think, what did I set it on? I set it on, like, Boil. fours. So if we play it, there's the little thing in the corners so what plays it. So now we've got, uh, we've got a funny boil. little wiggly circle. Well, that's animation. Um, yeah, I guess I, I guess I should go over some of the import stuff, because that's going to be pretty important. Um, yeah, so, I feel that, Kate. So over here, where I, where I made the new video group, you can also... Um, click the add media tab and that's where you can put in like enough like if you oh. wanted to trace over something um, you can upload a video from there if you wanted to add a picture or whatever okay I'm not gonna click anything um, but that's like I, I use that a lot like if I want to um, trace over some sketch animation and I don't want to put every single frame of the sketch animation in there I can just trace over the video Good work our animation program in school switched to digital stuff oh, yeah. while we were there. Here's the stick bug. Um, oh my god, why is it so long? It's a five second gif, baby. So we kind of got missed. No, it doesn't that. work because it's a gif. Oh, you gotta do gifs differently. Yeah, you yeah, can't you just can slap can Rats a GIF ass! Well, actually, I can tell you how you do that. Um, so if you wanted to, if you wanted to put a gif into um, Anim Desen. This is our. This file is already yeah. set up, but yeah. you can. It's all you again. You can open it up in a separate file, and with well, something you can do, you can right click your thing, and it'll turn it into a video instead of a GIF, and then you can put it back in. Yeah. It's kind of. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Yeah. But um. GIFs are mostly just like for little quick exports to show clients things. Yeah. So, anyways, so um, let me let me turn my uh, circle back on. 
What is happening that is hell on earth in chat? <laughs> Sorry, you can keep talking. Yeah, so here's here's my little circle. Um, I'm gonna make a new up. I'm gonna make a new video group and I'm gonna mm -hmm. color the circle. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna make put frames underneath that are the same length as the one above so the colors line up. I'm just gonna preemptively do it really quick. Oh, I do that a lot actually. Is mm -hmm. I'll just like set all of the frames for a color before I actually color anything in, mm -hmm. just because I don't feel like. Yeah. I love compartmentalizing. Compartmentalizing in animation is my favorite way to finish so let's, things. Let's make this circle like uh, a nice blue. So if you don't want to like scribble everything in, um, there's another way to do this, but uh, Ryan's probably going to cover that later. It's called actions. But what oh, I, I do. I love actions. I'll is, show you actions um, later. See, I'm, I'm on the paint bucket tool, right? And up here, there's a little thing called all layers. And if you hit all layers, when you, because I'm on the layer below the line art, it'll just fill it in. So that's all, that's all filled in. That's all nice. Wow! And now, now our wiggly circle has a, has a color thing going on, and that's pretty nice. <laughs> um... So if you let's say we wanted this circle to be shaded, um, but you don't want to you don't want to shade every single um, uh, frame. What you can do is you can make a, a clipping mask for the entire video group. And what I did, what I just did, is I made a new um, layer over here as opposed to in here, and drag it over. Draw the draw the shading before you make it a clipping mask. Oh, I yeah, want to yeah, see yeah. people's minds get blown. Right. Let me let me um <laughs> let me grab a nice little brush here. Set it to dissolve because that's just what I like to do. Something to note about um clipping masks on animation in Photoshop is that when you make something a clipping mask, it can't be the mask can't be in a group. Mm -hmm. So like you see, Hugo's got the. It's just a single um, layer right here. It's not in a video group or in a folder. Mm -hmm, that's important. Because if you have you the need to stick it on the outside. Yeah, if you have it in a folder, you won't be able to clipping mask it onto another folder. Right. Um. So I'm just gonna. Oh, Evan, just wait. So you this can... is. I wanna. I'm just gonna do a little half. Th Actually, no. I'm gonna make it like circle shading. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one of these. See, it's it's all sticking out. It's nasty and it's not even <laughs> shaded. So I'm gonna change it to multiply. That looks better, right? But if we don't want that nasty halo sticking out, you hit the Alt key, and you'll see like a little. You see the little symbol over here. It's like a little arrow, and then you hit that, and wow! Now play it's, it. And now it's in there. <laughs> and I didn't have to. And I didn't have to color the same thing over and over again. And I'm gonna show you that. Can, in can I do something later. first? Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, I think you're gonna do it. I was gonna. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Because like the thing about the clipping masks too is that. Oh. Oh, I'm not on. And <laughs> not over there. Yeah, you is can like, move it around. If your circle is moving to different places, but you want like the shading to be consistent too, mm -hmm. like you can just. Like the clipping mask will still be there. Yeah, so now she's she's rumbling around. I use this for like um putting like gradations on stuff a lot. Mm -hmm. Omar, is that what you were gonna do or you're gonna do a more advanced thing? No, I was gonna do more advanced thing. I was gonna I was gonna show him the secret of animated clipping masks. Okay, I can do that. Let's yeah. Um Say say you want say you don't like how the shadow looks. Um, what you doing? I have to unclipping mask these because I'm silly. Say you don't like the shadow being still, um, but you don't want to have to worry about uh, keeping it uh, like all in the lines. You just want to kind of get a loose shadow shape. Mm -hmm. How do you clipping mask? Uh, an animation onto another animation. Because you know what I just said, where um, it has to be a single layer to clipping mask something, and if it's in a group, which it is now, because I want it to be animated, you can't directly clipping mask... Oh, you can't directly clipping mask a group onto another group. Right. But, if you want to make it you could right click and convert to smart object, 
which makes it like a still like video type thing. So yeah. then a, you can clipping mask the smart this object onto the animation. So that's how you Ooh. animate a clipping mask. You just have to turn the folder with the animation you want clipped onto the uh, the thing below it into a smart object, which is super easy. Just a right click. Yeah, away. you just yep. right click, hit a uh, smart object, and I, then you I have feel animated like this, clipping mask. This like sounds niche, also, but I use this on literally everything. Yeah, like it comes up so often, especially if you want to like. There was a project where I did where um, the shading on it was like brush strokes and it would have taken so long to like individually shade each thing. So I just made like- just going back. Yeah. I just made like a four frame loop of just some like texture brush strokes and I clipping masked that animation onto the shading layer of the other thing. So then all of the shading had that texture without me having to draw it every single time. Yeah, it's super helpful. So yeah, here's, I just went back a little, we're back to our little wiggling circle. Yeah. Um, so something that I like to do on my animations is add a uh, drop shadow on the line art. And how you can do that is go to your video group with your line art, double click it, and a little thingy will pop up. Yeah, this is also like another thing in the layer styles. We use layer styles a lot. Yep. So you go down to drop shadow, and I'm going to scoot this over so we can see, and this is just the default drop shadow. Um, or it's just the last one that we use, yeah. probably. <laughs> yeah. And there's a bunch of different settings, you can make it to your taste, but I usually do a 90 degree around drop shadow just so it's like straight down. Um, sort of to mimic like old animation cell shadows and stuff. I do it a little more extreme than that though, just because I think it looks cool. And you can change the color. I'm gonna make it like I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little like pinky. Um, um for um V Pazam asking, I think we're gonna upload this one after because yeah. a few people have specifically asked for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll be we'll post it on Yugo's YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Yep. And here's is a bunch of different settings. So like the distance will um, oh, there she goes. <laughs> it ramps up really quick at the end there, but you can adjust how. Um, how make it, make it really be? far away and then play it real quick. Yeah, yeah, so this this will actually be pretty cool. See, now yeah, that, I love that. It, it and it conforms with the, this actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. Um it'll like stay the with the it'll stay with your liner. Here, let me let me go back. Um and there's a whole bunch of adjustments you can make yeah. on drop shadows. Mm -hmm. So for in, so spread just kind of it's like how hard the edge is. How hard the edge is, yeah. And I usually like to keep it like a little soft. And then the size um, kind of just makes okay, it Okay, like now play blurry. that. Yeah, let's do we'll have some, <laughs> some sun action. Oh, here. I just, that's, I like that. That's yeah. good. That's nice. so we've got this funny little marble going on. <laughs> but yeah, it's totally up to your taste and you can use it for like a million different things. Oh, and another thing you can do, um, it's kind of like the same tool, but let's get rid of the drop shadow for a sec. Let me, let me make it look normal really quick. Um, oh, and you can, you can adjust the noise to, hold on, let me, let me make this. If you want your drop you shadow to, to yell. Noisy, see, you can make it kind of crispy looking. Crispy, crunchy. I like, I like a the little ore. bit of crisp. <laughs> I like a little bit of crisp. There we go. Um, another thing you can do is outer glow. Actually, I'm going to set the outer glow to um, the blue. Outer glow gets really can get really fun. Ooh, I want to um, I want to mess with something in just a sec yeah. when you're done showing this. So outer glow. You should get paid for your animations. <laughs> Yeah. Guess what? So outer glow can create <laughs> do. Like, uh, Get this shit. a little halo effect, um, and I didn't want it to be on the inside of the line art, which is why I, I uh, did it on the um, coloring layer on the back there. Let's get the screen's kind of weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it like just like a little, a little bit of well, now. Let's, let's do some yellow. Let's do some yellow. And then yeah, you can you can choose from like a million different. Um, layer modes and stuff. Some show up more than others. And just as a PSA too, like, 
usually mess with this kind of stuff, like the layer styles, after everything else is done, because it right. does kind of, like, kill it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it slows down Photoshop when you have all this extra stuff here. And you can turn them on and off. Like, yeah. You, you, yeah. And you can, like, have it set, like, all right, I want this. Oh, yeah. And there's just, like, you can, if you look over here on the, on the layers, you can just turn it off, and it won't slow anything down. It'll still be there, and it'll save all of your settings. Yeah, so then you can just save it for later. Alright, I wanna... I wanna fucking... Yeah, go for it. I wanna get crazy, get stupid. This is something that I use a lot also, to change the, like, color of things, is I'll lock the opacity, which is this Ooh, little yeah, button yeah. right this here, or helpful. slash. And then I'm using an action right now, but I'll explain that later. So I wanna make the like this shape white so i'm gonna lock the layer opacity and then fill it all in white and i'm just gonna unlock them after mm -hmm. by clicking the lock icons over here because now i do want to put an outer glow on this because mm -hmm. i just love it when things glow yeah glows on line art can look pretty cool too let me turn off the drop shadow. Ooh, you got a nice so then it's like a fancy little like, like this looks like a little portal or some shit. Yeah, like a planet. like like a Maybe. puddle that's a portal, a portal puddle. Just for a sec, do um the lock transparency to the shading, so they can see what it does to a um, something with opacity on it. Okay, yeah, because that's the best thing about um the locking the transparency. Is that mm -hmm. this is like partially transparent, and if you let's like this just is edit what fill, locking transparency filling does that bucket tool doesn't. Is it'll yes. get all of the transparency of a layer, not just um, like yeah. the yeah. edge. Yeah. So yes, you, you can, can like change the color of things. It's great for like re recoloring your line art really quickly and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and also, like, if you're painting on one layer and you don't want to yeah. go out... I, I just wanted to make it... Yeah. Oh, wait, I gotta undo a little further. I just wanted to make a fun little glowy portal. Yeah, it's it's Chops. it's pretty simple stuff. <laughs> um, portal putta portal potty. Yeah, so this is just a little boiling circle. Oh, um, real quick, how did you do glowy again? Um, sure, yeah. So you, uh, whatever, whatever group you want to go, let's, let's go with the line art again. So you, here's your, here's your line art group. You double click it and you go to outer glow, which is yes. right two up from the bottom. Um, and just to clarify, can you tell them how you're getting to that menu? Didn't she I? did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Double yeah, click, double, the, click the, double click the group that you want the effect to be on. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then it'll bring up the layer styles menu. Mm -hmm. We just yeah. want to make sure that they follow. And this one has similar yeah. settings to um, the drop shadow. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as drop shadow. <laughs> like, to be honest, it's just yeah. coming from, like, every direction instead of a yeah. angled direction like the drop shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me, let me get back to my uh, drawing. I think I yeah. usually set my outer glow layers to linear light. I mm -hmm. like the way linear light linear affects light stuff for outer glows. And that's the, um, the layer oh. mode as opposed to like multiply or overlay or something. And you can actually, you can draw with the, um... Oh, it's so satisfying to do that when like the drop shadow is already on and you yeah. start drawing. Yeah, it just, it automatically it creates... Good. It feels like you're carving. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really nice. Um, is there anything else? That's kind of like the basics. Yeah. I, I think I think anything else, like more specific, we're gonna cover going through our own animation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let me let me get rid of this little face. Is there anything else? So th those are like the basics. Is there anything else you guys want me to? If you're curious about something, or if you want me to repeat something. And I think people I will definitely. How did you make the drop shadow? Oh, I can do that again really quick. So you. Okay, this is the last time though. Anyone else? We're just gonna tell them to watch the video when we upload it later. <laughs> so you you click your video your video group. I'm gonna click on the line art one. Well, that that's a good one. We can talk about some yeah. export settings. And yeah. here's a bunch of layer styles, and at the very bottom is drop shadow. Is yeah. any of this specific to the latest Adobe Suite? No. no this as long is as you have old. Creative Cloud, all of this will work. Yeah. I don't think any of the things we've gone over are mm -hmm. features that are new. How to do grainy '90s VFX stuff? I actually do all of that in post production, 
because if you tried to add a bunch of grain and um, camera ripples in Photoshop, it would make it lag a yeah. lot. So what I yeah. do is I do all of the pre-production, all the drawing, all the shading, all the stuff in Photoshop first, and then I take that and I go into Adobe Premiere, and you can do that with uh, with any Sony Vegas. Or We're gonna have to have a separate stream for the how you go hacks things to look like yeah. 90s yeah. film. Yeah, no, that would be. We'll have a post-production stream, but right now this is just how we do the animation and how we get it out of Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So somebody wanted to know exporting, so I can. Okay. Do wait. That. Just. One, I think there was something else. Uh. Oh, Butler said. It's a joke. Oh, how did you guys get the clipping? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. That's like a slash J means. Oh, okay. All right. Don't. Don't click anything yet, because I'm still looking. Would um, you say there's a layer limit to how many layers you can have? It just starts slowing down. Like, it, you're unlikely to crash cra it's Photoshop. It's not going to crash. It's up to your computer, really. Yeah. yeah. Unless you unless you have, like... But a, I'll, I'll show you some examples grip. of how crazy my files get. If you're doing yeah. it on, like, a 2010 Linux, you're going to get two layers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But, like, a normal computer... Yeah, like, I don't... shouldn't crash. Oh, when I work in-house... At like studios, and they have like the like nice fancy mats, yeah. And it's like I can work at like thirty eight forty by twenty one sixty, and nothing mm -hmm. ever lags, and I can have ten layers of onion skin. Yeah. Oh, for, my computer can't do for that. For reference, I don't have like a special computer. It doesn't have like an exceptional amount of RAM or CPU or whatever, and I can do everything that I need to do in Photoshop just fine. So you don't need like a giga computer unless you're trying to do some like really crazy shit. Yeah. Um, Which sometimes happens. <laughs> yeah, and if you if you, there's workarounds for it, even if your computer yep. is small. Like, um, I'll talk about this later. Actually, yeah. I'll just make a note. Yeah. Um, uh, so do you want to go through whatever animation you have prepared, you go? Uh, I'm well, going to show them how to export really okay. quick. So, um, because that can be quick. I just want to show people how to do it transparent. Export. Yeah, I'm going to do both. So, oh, don't do a GIF export. Those takes a lot. Well, don't this do is, it. Just like show the frames. setup for yeah. it. So if you want to make a GIF, so this for for I'm gonna play it again. So this would be the GIF, and it's really short. Um, you go to File, Export, and then you go to Save for Web. It'll say Legacy. This is in every version of Photoshop, and it'll bring up a menu. Uh, let me let me grab it. It went up to the top screen. Oh, made it a PNG also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to make sure to switch it. Oh, to right. the GIF format. So this is the this is the GIF window, and right now it's a PNG because I'm assuming. Yeah, there are other PNG there are other things yeah. Save for Web can do. It's just there's really no other reason to use it than mm -hmm. for GIFs. Yeah. So um, something that you're gonna want to keep an eye on is the size of your GIF. Yep. Um, over here, like it's over here. Yeah, you can see you can see my mouse right now. It's 200 kilobytes, which is nothing. Yeah. Because this is a very simple file but the more effects the more layers the more however however many colors you have it's going to get pretty big but yeah. you can mitigate that luckily um by making it um you can change the size which is usually what i do because if you're looking at this on twitter or tumblr you're never going to need to see like the full resolution thing because it's going to yeah. make it small anyways um so we're, we're, I think we're doing a 1920 by 1080, which is the standard file and is what the um, Twitter cropping limit is. So this is actually a thousand by a thousand. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. But um, this is what we always default to at our streams. Mm -hmm. Um, the the color table. That's just how many colors you have. It's just like a yeah. visual. So that's all the yeah. colors in the. No, you might yeah. want to move it over just a little bit so it's not being oh, okay, covered. Yeah. yeah. Um. So something, so actually now that you bring that up, um, if you have a huge GIF, like a really big one, and um, it's not uploading because it's too big, you can actually sacrifice some colors to make that, um, to make your thing smaller. And um, Take it down to like four. Yeah. I want to see what this looks like at like four right, so colors. So here, here's your color export options, and if I go to four, <laughs> it looks like this, which is still pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you can preview play stuff, but not very well. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, it's so because it of the like drop that. shadow and, like, the noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like you can change the number of colors to lower the size. Yeah, see, 16 still... Yeah, 16 is all the colors you need 16 colors is Easily. all you need for this. And now, instead of 200K, it's 84K. And it looks yeah. exactly the same. So that's a that's a handy trick. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're... You want to be careful doing that sort of thing if you have, like, gradients mm -hmm. on your GIF because yeah. it'll create this weird, like... 
Like, yeah. it'll look like bands instead of, like, a smooth gradient. Mm -hmm. When I was exporting my Game Grumps thing, like, my cut from it as a GIF, it was, like, 90 megabytes, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to consider <laughs> some things. <laughs> making things, like, making it shorter, even. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so the color table, as you can see, is really small now, and it looks exactly the same. I'm just gonna put it back to... 200 colors just so you can see because that that is all just because of the drop shadow and the gradients um okay, i think we can bounce out of gifts for now because yeah, that's, so that's like a pretty you, easily yeah. googleable thing mm -hmm. yeah, and then you and then you hit save forward. when you're done yeah all right now if you want to save out a video you go to export again boss video. baby you go it's probably going to pop up on the other screen here. Let me grab... Oh, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's really bad. That's pretty hype. I don't, know, I don't know why you did that. Put it away. That's exactly what Yugo looks Come like. Yeah. I'm All right. Anyways. <laughs> so um, here's the video export. Here, let me let me show how to do that again, just in case yeah. y'all missed it. File, Go to export, export. Render video. Yeah. Um, and you can name your thing up here. And here's the, the, the format, and that's going to probably, like, determine a lot of file size. Uh, H.264 is like full HD perfect. QuickTime is, will still make it look perfect, but it compresses well, it a little more usually. QuickTimes are usually bigger though. You have Not it for backwards. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have it backwards. H.264. QuickTimes are lossless. Um, yeah. Uh, so like, and, and QuickTimes can also be transparent videos if right. if you go to, are mm -hmm. you on QuickTime? Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on just a second. Like, let's get into that after we've explained yeah. the two more clearly. It's just a, a QuickTime is an MOV file. H.264 is an MP4. H.264s are smaller. Yeah, my and smaller, then, quicker to kick out. One of the things you can <laughs> do with a QuickTime file that Omar was saying that you cannot do with an H.264 is make the background transparent. Mm -hmm. So if, let me cancel this. If we were to turn off the background layer so it's transparent mm -hmm. back there, we could file export. Um, looking for. It's hard to see from this angle. Yeah. Render video and then QuickTime. Mm -hmm. And you want to set your alpha channel settings? To straight unmatted. Yeah. yeah. And this is something that I also do a lot. Mm -hmm. Like we were talking about when files get really big and they're kind of hard to manage, something that I'll do a lot of the times is I'll export out different assets of it as MOVs. Yeah. Because when you put just like an MOV or an H.264 into Photoshop, like that doesn't take up nearly as much like of Photoshop's memory yeah. as frames. Yeah. So it's actually like a lot better if you pull in videos like mm -hmm. as you're working, if yeah. you're working on really big files and stuff starts to get yeah. crazy. Yeah. I export transparent things all the time because I do my compositing in Premiere. So yeah. if I want to like stack files without getting like a huge gigafile, like they were saying, I just take it out in pieces. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much that's most of the anim and tricks. The most simple ones. Do you um, want to do PNG sequences? Because I know some people use After Effects. Oh yeah, PNG sequences are handy sometimes. Mm -hmm. I can show that. I, I never use them, but... Um, it, it comes up a lot when me and Ryan are doing work. They'll yeah. ask for us to export a PNG sequence. Yeah, so sometimes you'll want to export out the animation as, like, each frame is its own, like, image. Mm -hmm. Like, its own PNG. So for that, you'd go export... Is it layers to files, or is there... Well, you can do layers to files with but us. You can do it in render video, yeah. too. Yeah. Render video, it's just also in the same settings. Or, well, it's yeah. up here first. Photoshop image sequence, yeah. yeah. And then okay, you can yeah. set it to JPEG or whatever, but you're probably going to want to do a PNG because that doesn't crung anything So up. then it'll automatically export out each individual frame as its own image. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is pretty much only something I do if a studio asks for it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really handy for bringing stuff into after effects because i know if you slap a lot of mobs and after effects it can get kind of funky so uh when when they're like building animations at commercial studios uh my experience has been they ask for a, a transparent png sequence that they can slap on and manipulate yeah. like easiest mm -hmm. for them um to answer evan's question exporting and adding videos over and over doesn't compress it too much it doesn't if you export MOVs because the MO MOVs are lossless. Yeah, I've no and I've had to do that a lot yeah. before, and I've never had anything turn crunky. I want to so clarify them. something. Um, when you export an MOV, when you first open it, it's going to be like converting, 
that converted video is not lossless. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it depends on what program you open it with. So, like, if, you like if you're have, opening it in, like, QuickTime or something. Yeah, if you have the raw export of just an MOV and slap that in, lossless, it has all the information there. Yeah. But once it's converted, it is not lossless. Mm -hmm. I think that's mostly a Mac thing, too. Because I never have to convert. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a funny Mac trick. But as long as, long as you're using um, QuickTime exports... Like, you don't have to worry about losing quality by exporting it out multiple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can go over one more thing that I didn't, even though it's not really that complex. So, another thing you can do is you can duplicate frames. Um, oh, yeah. So, you can select whatever frame. So, I'll select this one. And then next to the two and next to the trash can is the duplicate frame. Oh, layer. duplicate frame is hype. And it's really great because it's just the same one. <laughs> um, I use that a lot for... Um, sketch animation because sometimes I don't want to redraw something like if I'm if I'm moving an arm from here to here and it's not and it, the drawing isn't changing um I take the sketch and I duplicate it and then just rotate it because I'm going to be drawing over it with lines later so the drawing will change Can I this for a sec? yeah go for it <laughs> yeah like duplicating stuff is just mm -hmm. really handy are you just gonna do the thing I said kind of yeah yeah so Ryan's gonna show you in case that doesn't <laughs> make any sense See, so I've just duplicated these first three frames. Mm -hmm. So it's oh, let me extend. Yeah, the and you background. can and you can duplicate more than one frame at a time. Yes. So if you want to duplicate, you can duplicate a oh, video. Oh, we froze. Oh, did we? Yeah. Oh no! Why? Streamlabs. No. Can you still hear? Oh, it's us? just the camera. Oh really? Weird. Uh, right. Maybe when I just I just moved the. So you can still see things on here, huh? You can okay. So it is the camera being a bastard. I guess it got a little bit unplugged when I moved the Cintiq. God damn it, rat's ass. Oh, I might just not have video. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's just the vid. Yeah, I say just turn it. <laughs> There's a stick bug. <laughs> nice. Oh, good. God. Alright, we're gonna... Hell on Earth. <laughs> okay! Sweet, now I can just fucking sit over here where I can read chat. <laughs> well... Ooh, I gotta be careful with this well. anyway. Okay. I just wanted to show you, like, like something that we do a lot is just, like, you go saying, just editing frames. Mm -hmm. Like, I could just give this a little... Mm -hmm. And Ryan's just, doing a, Ryan's just doing a transform, which is usually just yeah. right-click transform. There's there's a shortcut for Yeah, Control-T is transform, and then I'm clicking this button up here, which makes it a transform warp, which gives you this, like, other layout thing. So it's like, oh, I've duplicated it, and now it's like, I use the same drawings, but I've just edited it a little bit, so mm -hmm. it does a little extra stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that I do a lot, and it's fun. Uh, does that make sense to you guys? How, and how that would be applied to, like, just, like, regular animations of characters and stuff? Yeah, I can show a little bit of that, yeah. too. Because yeah. I have... My file has some roughs in it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, those roughs as they developed. Yeah. Um, and let us know if the stick bug is bothering you guys and you want the camera <laughs> back. Because we can do that, but we just need to restart the stream. Yeah, I just didn't so, feel like restarting the stream. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so those those are the basics. And just one more time, if you want me to repeat anything, or if there's something you missed, or uh, just something else. Well, you if it's something explain, they missed at this point, I'd say just watch the video yeah. and we upload it yeah. later. So I think we should just move on to hopping into your file. Show right, us, cool. show us your jam. Here, let me. The jam, bam, thank you, man. Let me do a. Let me do a save. I missed the camera, but the stick bug is okay. All right, so. <laughs> I know a lot of other streamers just don't even bother with a camera and do audio only, and I'm like, God, that must be so much easier. Mm -hmm. Why do we even bother? There's oh, ten wow. of us. Right, cool. it's funny. That's true. We are funny. Um, I can close this, Most of our humor is that. visual, and I can't sacrifice that. So, uh, is it just on the desktop? or? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll grab it. Okay. So, we're going to go through some of my files. Uh, Which go would you like? to let's let's do the lip sync first. Go to fish lips. All right. 
mm -mm. reading Photoshop format. Yeah, she's she's doing an open. Yeah, you can't. You guys can't see that because it's on the other screen. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to. Can yeah. I close this? Just yeah. get rid of it. Kill it. Yeah. And then I'm also going to um, edit purge video cache just so we don't have any of that like residual from the other the other file clogging down Photoshop. We do cool. have desktop audio on. All right, cool. So uh, this is this is a animation I did I think like last year or something, and I didn't finish it. Well, this is part of a thing I didn't finish, but this part is finished. <laughs> Um, so here, I will, here, let me, let me just play for you guys what this is. Oh, can I explain something real quick before you play it? Sure. Um, something that Photoshop does is the first time it plays through, it'll be a render pass, so it'll mm -hmm. go kind of low frame rate, and then it'll, after mm -hmm. it's all the way loaded, yeah. the subsequent playthroughs will be full frame rate. Alright, cool, so in that case, I'll Usually. just, I'll, I'll just, uh, <laughs> mute it really quick. Yeah. For the first playthrough. Because through. if you play it... If you play it with audio, it messes up the render pass and it won't render. Right. Yeah. So... Let me, let me pause that. Right. Let's see how the audio sounds for y'all. All right, cool. <laughs> so here's here's this. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Um, let me turn up the audio on my computer just a little bit to see if we can hear it. Are we going to get into, uh, like, animation principles, or is this No. Just... Okay. We're going to talk mm -hmm. about the ways oh, we approach technical. Rip. Animation. We have desktop audio on, so. It's probably fine if you can't hear it, though, like... Like, it'll look better with the sound, because... Oh, wait. Did we have to re-sync the audio? No. It didn't ask for it. Oh. Uh -huh. Let me relink the audio track and see if that helps. Let me pull this where I can see it. Yeah. -ha. All right, which one is it? Lip, Lip sync? sync? Can you hear it? I can't either. Huh, weird. Maybe it's something to do with streaming, but... That's it. Sound yeah. Know. I don't know. Well, no audio for y'all. Ha ha ha. Oh, That's well. kind of annoying. Um, it's, like, fine, though. Like, like I did warn you about this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, uh, what this is saying is they tried to put me on the cover of Vogue, but you can't hear that. Um, so <laughs> something that I wanted to demonstrate with this is, um, collage stuff. So, so to get this, what I did is I took a video of my mouth saying the lyrics and stuff, and I took that into Photoshop, and I made it, here, let me, let me take out, take off all the fancy gunk. So it's just the lips. Ooh, the ambiance layers. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, so I chopped up each frame that I would need, and I didn't, I didn't keep every frame because then it would be too smooth, and I want it to um, be a little Ooh. choppy. Sorry, I punched the wall. Um, <laughs> so here's here's the unedited, um, without all the effects. So I just chopped it up, cut it out. There's my my funny mouth doing the doing the stuff. Um, we've got a background. Let me just let me just turn on all those nice little layers again. And oh, that yeah. is not all of them. Oh, whoops. <laughs> You're missing the fish. Ah, uh, I'm missing the fish. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's put the fish back. Oh, there we go. You go white boy moments. Huh? What does that mean? I don't know what that means either. Haha, uh -huh, you go, white boy. Well, can I do something real quick, you go? Sure. Oh, punch Me. the wall. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, this is actually something that I use the color overlays for pretty often, is if I want to find, like, what stuff is in what group. Because sometimes I get a little disorganized and put different parts of a character in different groups without labeling it, is you can mm -hmm. use the color overlay to change a group to be like, oh, that's what's in this group. Or like, oh, that's where this group is. So I use the color overlays for that a lot. This pick bug is distracting. Can we just like turn that off and <laughs> turn off the frozen video and just move the other thing up? No, this has to stay. No. <laughs> no. Oh, that was the wrong group. I don't know what this is. Cringe. Oh, I think this is the other one. Cringe. Sorry, we're messing around with the layout now. What if... 
I went to properties. Easy. All right, I'm a gamer. Okay, yeah, there you go. Oh, I think I turned off the drop shadow on your lips. Oh, that's fine. No lip shadow. Ha ha. It's just gone. Okay. I think it's because I this this shortcut just kills that. It's fine. I'll just undo it. There yeah. We go. Hold on. I want to see. I just want to. I want to see why the desktop audio is not working really quick. Is there like? I think it's Photoshop specifically. Yeah. Here, let me. Gonna I'm gonna thing. unmute Twitch. Oh, this is the worst thing you can do. <laughs> All right, let us know if you hear a terrible fucking echo. Is there a terrible echo? You hear the echo? terrible fucking echo? I've muted it again. Was there a terrible echo for me asking if there was a terrible echo? No Photoshop. No. Said sh huh. Huh. Maybe. Interesting. Desktop audio says no. Oh my god. Have the. Uh have the stream alerts been making sound? Someone should donate a hundred dollars so we can check. Is alert box behind shit right now? <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Sorry for the... Oh, yeah, they there. were. Huh, weird. I, yeah, it must be, uh... I'm not that worried about it. fucked up with Photoshop, I guess. Oh, Sorry y'all don't get to see Hugo's Epic Gamer lip sync, but it's not gonna teach you anything about Photoshop to hear the audio, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, one of the things- Alright, we're back. Yeah, we're, we're back up there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, this is what a nice little, like, soft drop shadow would look like. So it's like lips sitting on top of a fish. Yeah, and I colored my teeth yellow. They're yeah. a little bit, they're a little bit yellow in real life, but I, like, really ramped it up just because it looks, I like the way it looks, it's funny. Um, but it's like all, all the textures that Hugo has added to it and just like that drop shadow underneath the lips like mm -hmm. it's like pretty simple to like just add those little effects to make it look really, like really cool mm -hmm. like Hugo does a lot more than just that but like <laughs> yeah so yeah one of the things that I have on top is the um, uh, magazine dots CMYK dots I like to add that on top of stuff so it looks like there. a so it looks yeah so it looks like a really, um... <laughs> looks like a magazine texture. Yeah, if you zoomed into a magazine, you'd see that. And I like to put that on top of stuff. I haven't done that in a while because the style that I've been working in lately is completely different than yeah. what I used to do. You go rough your teeth. Just rough your teeth. Rough your teeth. Yeah. Nice. It, so another fun thing you can notice here is how, um... My my left tooth is completely missing a piece, and <laughs> the and the only reason that I noticed that my left tooth was missing a piece is because of this animation. I never noticed before this, oh my and God. I was and I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" Pulling. I was so confused. Play just like a little like three flame three frame loop on me. Make it just like shake. Oh. Be oh really yeah. Funny. Oh yeah. We can. We didn't talk about setting the work area. Oh. We did not talk about. Oh okay. So this is this area. is great. Make so, sure to pull this out from under the camera. Yeah. We'll put that boy up there. So this little this little bracket up here is very important, and I cannot believe we didn't talk about it. My bad. Oops. Um. So this is how you set your work area. Right now, the work area is set to the entire animation, so it's going to play the whole thing. But if you drag it over, let's say to right here. It's only going to play like a little bit of it. And this also affects your exports. Right. So whatever your work area is set to is how much it will export. Mm -hmm. Like if your whole animation is like 30 seconds, you can only work on one second of it at a time and just play that <laughs> one second on loops. But also, have to watch the mm -hmm. whole thing. oh my god, don't don't work on a 30 second animation yeah, in one file. That. Yeah, I usually I usually break mine up by shots. Yeah. Thanks for the follow, Sunsmakes. So it'll be two seconds. Thank you. Or this, what is this? This is, this is three seconds. I hate that it still loops. Yeah, make, it's, this is interesting. Now make the work area smaller. The fact that this loops perfectly is upsetting me. Here, let's Should make it, it let's more. make it even smaller. Make it look like a YouTube loop. Yeah, so um I think that's the they, right? Yeah. Yeah. They. As as they said, um setting the work area affects what you're exporting. Which is good if you're working on two shots in one thing and you wanted to just export one part out. Bad word's bad. Yeah. Uh-huh. Fuck. 
Yeah. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm I know. I'm so sad about the because the next. I told you the audio was gonna be fucked and might not work. <laughs> I'm sad. I told you. I don't know why it's not working though. Because usually desktop audio at least like functions. So I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna close this because we didn't do anything. I didn't know Rocky was there. He's laying with my switch case. Yeah, so launched him there open. while he was sitting let's, let's do an open. He's like vibing. Rocky's sitting in the chair next to us and I didn't notice until just now. Uh, where did you put the. the bathroom and stuff is closed. So he can't enter. Uh, where did you put the folder? Oh. It's just if you click the on the desktop. Friends, it is two minute juniors. It's there. Thesis in one tune boom file and it kept crashing on H. Like, yeah, don't. Do Alright, I'm that. gonna open up my next file. <laughs> By no means should you be working on two minutes. Yeah. That, that's another thing is like, I usually, when I'm working on animation, like, especially if it's just stuff for us, I'll separate out all of the, like, PSDs by shot. So I'll have a PSD for shot one, a separate PSD for shot two. Because it, they don't need to all be in one unless they're, like, directly transitioning. And even, like, heavier Sorry, shots I'll split opening. up into multiple. Like, if I know I'm going to be yeah. animating a bunch of different characters and stuff. Like, I do believe Yugo is opening a hype, fat PSD right now. It's not. But. Like. It's not a very Photoshop bad. disagrees. I know a couple. My, like, one file will probably take a minute to open. How big is it? I'm curious. It shouldn't be. Does it say? That's not. How big is it? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a size. How big does it say it is? Five, five M. Five megabytes? Yeah. Oh, that's not a lot. Yeah, that's why I don't. I think it froze. That's why. Because I, I just wanted to open it from Photoshop because I know clicking on stuff from the outside sometimes fucks it up. Oh. That's why I, don't I was know. looking for it. It's never happened to me. So um, one sec. Momentary. Well, Momentary edit pretty quick. Here's how to kill yeah, Photoshop. Wow. It's not hard. Uh oh, I hope that doesn't fuck the stream. Hey y'all. I open Task Manager. That's what's happening. Don't worry, we're just reopening the potato shop. Yeah. But my CPU was too low. I don't know why it just stopped opening. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. It's super weird. But my dick was too low. Aha! Cool. See? Yeah. Because so five cool. megabytes is small. Like <laughs> I'm opening a two gigabyte one. Yeah, so here's here's another. That would be we might have to do an intermission for you to open your file. It shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, so here's another thing. I like um, prepped it for you, but I'm sure it's not too, too heavy. Long, but oh. My legs were too oh, you've long, got the audio on. But my legs so it's not doing the render pass. Long, yeah, I know we mentioned this oh, already. Oh, maybe the other one was just busted. That's weird. Okay, or maybe here. it's because Photoshop was open before I opened OBS. Alright, here, let me do a render pass yeah. and then you guys can. That might be it, actually. Yeah. Look at it. Like how, if like. Alright, cool. If you, like, open Premiere with, like, your headphones plugged in yeah. and unplug them, it doesn't play audio anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think right, it was probably anyways, something like yeah, that. Anyways, yeah, here's that. But my it's legs were too long. It works, I guess. But yeah, wig. Legs um, were too but yeah, long. fun stuff. But my legs were too long. Yeah, but my right, I'll, I'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, this is, I will eventually upload this, I guess. Um, <laughs> when it's finished. So yeah, here's another thing. This is combining, like, 2D drawn assets and um, collage stuff. I like to draw directly on um, pictures collage of fish, stuff because it's pictures funny. Of fish. Um, <laughs> pictures of fish. A lot of people ask, why do you animate fish ladies? And I think it's it's funny. You go thinks they're sexy. Yeah. It's just funny. I don't know. Legs.psd. Fish, fish look so it was fucking stupid. Years ago that I changed your group chat name to Flounder. <laughs> Flounder yeah. Pounder! You goes like Mario Party Gorilla.png at no, gmail.com now. Isn't it um, what? the fucking email? That's what your name from, is. Isn't it the email from. Um, yes. Yeah. American Horror yeah. Story? Yeah, American Is Horror that still Story. what it is? Oh yeah, my God. The Jungle Gym. The Jungle Gym. See, I was close with like. <laughs> Jungle Gym 43 Mario Party Gorilla Party Gmail. Gorilla Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Jungle Gym Mario Party Gorilla? Like, what's yeah. the difference? Yeah. So, I do miss Flower. So I did a few different things on this PSD. Um, 
So if you remember when we did the, with the little circle clipping mask, I did the same thing with the legs so that I never had to redraw the shading. And all the shading on the legs are one, one layer. Oh, nice. So yeah, and that's this clipping group here. So here it is. <gasps> Nude! It. So they're, they're all fucking, see? So look how this, this looks so bland and then you just add the, the little shading layer and it's like, oh, suddenly it's you're, fucking mm -hmm. beautiful. Suddenly you're Masaki Yuasa, which yeah. is a tongue twister apparently. Suddenly yeah. Suddenly, you're Masaki. You want I think I, I think I still have my sketch layer, so I could show you guys. That. Yeah, that's always fun. Let me let me get rid of all that junk. Isn't one of the Photoshop shortcuts if you hold Alt while clicking a group, it makes only that group visible? I have no clue. I'm not gonna fuck with that. I've never tried it. So yeah, I think it works. I've never needed to try it. Yeah, so I'm not gonna bother turning off the background. It's handy. Oh yeah, so here's here's just the. Oof. Yeah, she's got to she's got to do a render. Yeah, there's no fish there. I got rid of the fish. Um, but yeah, that's that's so the, those that's literally like four drawings or you something. You go got the fish in one go. Yeah. So no head. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a skateboard to crack in half, no I'd do fish. it. Yeah, so let me let me put those back out there. Boop boop. <gasps> She's back. <coughs> yeah. So something that I did on this file is I um I did a motion blur so it looks like the legs are much longer than the drawing actually is. Um and you can do that on like a whole you can do that on a whole video, but it's gonna make it look weird. So I just did it on the um individual frames and you can do that by so select your frame. Go to filter go to blur and you'll get like a bunch of different options there's there's gaussian blur motion blur radial blur so I, I did a little motion blur and as you can see it just got even more blurry this is also something you can apply to a whole group you can motion blur yep. a whole group yep or um, just one layer and you can adjust the angle so that's gonna so this is directly in line with how i had it so it's just like a little more blurry before but you can make it blur out sideways you can do diagonal, you can do whatever. And just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to keep it horizontal so you can actually see the difference. Um, and you can make it go out further. Whoa. So this is just blurring the line art So now, it, now yeah. it just looks like weird hot dogs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hugo yeah. has successfully blurred the line art into unrecognizableness. Yeah. And I think for this, I blurred both the um, line art and the color, so they're both like fuzzy. But yeah, and again, you can get to that by going to filter, blur, and then you can pick whatever kind of blur. Radial makes like a funny spin thing. That's what they usually do in the memes. Yeah. yeah. Um, like the radial is so annoying though. Mm -hmm. Click radial real quick. Yeah. Yeah. There's no real time. Um, oh yeah, so you gotta kind of guess it. Yeah, it's so dumb. You can't see like what it's gonna look like when you radial blur it, and you have to like guess where the middle is. Mhm. Mm and it just. <laughs> Yeah, so that did nothing, but it's fine. Yeah. Fuck radial blur. All my homies like, hate radial, radial blur. Radial blur is a good effect, mm -hmm. but, like, the implementation for it in Photoshop is so bad that you can't use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Is there is there anything else in this file that you would like to see me tell you how to do or just something you're curious about before we move on to the next one? I have a couple interesting motion blur uses in what yeah. in the Here, just, file I prepped. I'll just play it without the audio. Wee! So that's yeah, every that's day that. is leg day. Monday, Tuesday, I Wednesday. I should finish that. I really don't have a lot to go on it, but I've been working on my comic, so I just keep not doing it. Honestly, you stop like on your what comic. you have done Drop is it. like like <laughs> it. Like you could just post what you have, and it like is finished and is the complete thing. Yeah, but thing. I have such a funny idea for the legs, legs, just on the menu. Ah, uh, okay. Because it'll, it'll be really, really bad, I promise. So good. In a good way. Um, like does the motion hours. blur only affect the current frame or the whole layer? Well, a frame and a layer are the same thing. Yep. Yeah. But um, it, uh, it affects the layer you have selected, or if you select a whole group first, it'll mm -hmm. apply that motion blur to the whole group. Right. Yeah. So motion blur the fish. Yeah. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Sorry, it's hard to see. You can do it because you can you can see it better, and you know how. <laughs> I have the wrong one selected. Yeah. 
filter. Oh, it needs to be oh. a smart object to blur right. the whole thing. Oh, see, I've been telling y'all lies. Well, I mean, That's fine, you can just do it. Yeah. I'm gonna convert the fish to a smart yeah. object. Smart objects are hype. Yeah, so, so what the smart object did is instead of a bunch of frames, now it's like one video. Oh, that, that's a good thing to point out, Atrab, is that, like, unless you undo it, like, you can't get back to where it was. Like, if you motion blur something, it is that now. Yeah, so usually I make, I just duplicate it, so I have, Me too. so I have, I still have all of the frames, and then I have the smart object, but. For a smart object, yeah, though, you can, me, you make, can go back to what it was I'm gonna before. I'm going to change the, um, just so it's that. And then if we want to motion blur the whole thing, let's do radial blur because it'll be funny. <laughs> um, and let's let's make do, it like crazy radial I'm gonna do blur. It, I'm going to do a zoom. Yes. Let's see. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes! so now, it's, now it's this. Oh, and Photoshop plays um, smart objects really slowly, just yeah, so you know. Yeah, just for the, for the render because it's got to it's gotta register all of that first. Smart objects are amazing. That one project I was telling y'all about where I had to, like, clipping mask the texture onto the shading. Yeah, so I had, like, seven smart objects She's inside each and other. And you can, you can see the progress by the little green line. Yeah. In there. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, so now it's now <laughs> it looks like she's this. incandescent. <laughs> now she's. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. This is great, you know. Yeah, so you can keep it like this. You can add any filter to <laughs> an entire an entire group wow. by changing it into a smart object. And then something interesting you can do is if you <laughs> double click the smart object, <laughs> it will. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> It'll I bring didn't up know that the smart object would be yes. the whole woman. Yeah, yeah so this so this is the smart object. There. So that's yeah, there, there she is, unblurred. And, <laughs> you go, can like I fuck a... up this file? Do you have like a copy yeah, of this? Yeah, yeah, no, file? fuck okay. it up. Fuck so it up, it's all good. Another interesting thing <laughs> is <laughs> if I adjust <laughs> like one frame in this smart object and then I hit file save, it will save the smart object. <laughs> Yeah, it'll save the smart object like to the animation, so you can adjust the individual frames in a smart object, and it'll apply it automatically to the animation that that it's smart object handy. is in. So you can see I've stretched this one frame because that's so important to do. <laughs> Let's, we'll just let it play through again. Yeah, smart objects are really good. I wish Photoshop was stronger. Yeah. Or I wish my computer was stronger and could handle mm -hmm. all of the but smart object shenanigans. If, just, if you just want to like do basic, <laughs> <laughs> there's the one, there's the one frame that Ryan enlarged. Um, so the, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Can I jump into my file? Are we yeah, ready? So I feel like we're ready. That's pretty much everything. You can do a lot of advanced stuff of if you advanced. want, but. If you're just doing regular like character animation and stuff, you're probably not going to need to fuck with uh, smart objects. Yeah. But in case you do, that's how you that's how you do it. Smart objects are fun. If y'all are ever like wondering how to do something in Photoshop or if you can do something in Photoshop, you can always just like at one of us in the Discord too. Yeah. yeah. Like at me anytime, and I can tell you how to do something if there's a way to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, now uh, Ryan's going to show you some of this. Stuff. All right, let me in. Let me drive. <laughs> should I should I just scoot over or do you want? Do you want pilot Omar because you're next? Right. Yeah, because I'm next in the queue. I'm the next driver. Yeah, me, me, Omar, and Hugo prepped some files to show y'all. Um, let's see. I think GGA Cleaned Up is the one that I want to show. I Forced. did not see your fan art. Where did you put it? <gasps> Who's fan art? Evan. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> So nice. Fucking long. Thanks, fucking oh, it's long. very good. Thank you. Oh, that was so <laughs> fast. The speed. The speed. Uh -huh. speed so if y'all have I seen my gamey grumpy, or like the game grumps that we did for um, game grumps animation we did for Soviet Jump Game, like these are the the earliest like roughs that I have of here's kind of what I want this animation to do. Mm -hmm. And you can see, like, at this point, I just kind of wiggle the same image back and forth. Just to give myself the idea of, like, the timing I want. And then... And I have notes for what I want it to do. So it's like, I went over these roughs a little bit with 
a little bit more breakdown of what I wanted the animation to do in another pass. You guys can hear Ryan, right? I, I should hope so. I'm very loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah! So it's like I was happy with this part, and then I was like, how do I want this to resolve? And it's like, oh, I want him to kind of flail his arms a little bit. So I did some more roughs over, like, what I already kind of had. Did I miss the fish fuck? The fish did not fuck. So, so no. No, you didn't. I appreciate you staying <laughs> on top of the fish fucking, though. And there might have been some steps in between, like, this and the next one. But, like, the next group that I have in here is, like, the tie-down layer. So I went over the roughs that I had and, like, cleaned everything up. And my my files get kind of whack. Like you can see, I have a lot of different video groups for a lot of different things. Like I have this video group that's just the fist bump at the bottom coming in. The like crinkling is Gracie making food in the kitchen. I'm sorry. Hooligan! And I think, I think little Matryoshka man is on like five different layers too. Ooh, this will be a... Oh, where's Anim Desim? Anim Desim, I need you over there. So let's see, this is, I have his face and like the bow tie on that group and then the circle of his head on that group because I do a lot of transforming stuff. So it's really handy for me to have stuff on separate layers so I can like transform this green circle where his face is. I can't use my finger to gesture. This green circle where his face is like individually of everything else. Because I love efficiency. What about a fish in the lake? <sighs> yeah, so I start really rough and then tie shit down. Let's turn the roughs off. Oh, I also have Dan in here. I forgot about him. This is another fun example of, like, for at least my keys for this, Dan is only three frames where I just kind of transformed him a little bit to, like, do his action, and then the lip sync is on another layer above that. Yeah. 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 Is he, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is, like, all transformed, too. Like, you can see I only drew the body one. And then I just kind of wiggled it around a little bit. And do you draw it every time in your final? Yeah, when I do the line art, I'll put... Sometimes I draw it every time, sometimes I make it a boil, and then transform the boil so it looks yeah. like I drew it every time, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. Cottonmunism takes yet another life. I'm just... Way through these walls. I could have shown some of my Game Grump stuff too, but I wanted to cover something different than Ryan, yeah. so it wasn't yeah. repetitive, so... I just grabbed the most recent thing I worked on and was like, here's what I'm going to show. Yeah. I've got all this other stuff on different layers. And then I also have... If we ever do a squeakle, I'd be interested in seeing some of your uh, freelance stuff. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'd have to, like, make sure stuff has been posted. Yeah. Because I would love yeah. to show the stuff that I did at Gunner with all of the crazy clipping masks. I don't know if my computer could handle it, but... <laughs> so then this is the f next file that I have for it, yeah. and it's yeah. all of the yeah. line art and then the backgrounds. And you can see I'm working in, like, this this rectangle here is the actual, like, screen size. So I'm working in a bigger canvas so that I can move stuff around on the outside. <laughs> And I actually, um, I used the horrible Photoshop keyframing, like, options for this little camera move of the background, because I wanted it to move just a little bit. So I used I the... I also used them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, oh if, something, god. if something is a smart object in Photoshop, this is mm -hmm. a video that I put in. I exported the video, because smart objects run so slow, and put it back in. Sure. But... Something that you can do if something is a smart object is keyframe transformations. So then if I move over here, then it'll like transform it like with those frames. 
Yeah. Which is kind of a bad feature, and if you know any other compositing software, you should be using that instead. Yeah. Because Photoshop does not do it well. I really only use it for really tiny stuff. Sometimes I'll change yeah. opacity because it's funny. Oh, um, yeah, a little fade out. Uh, and then, oh, I wanted to mention um, for motion blurring, because we were talking about motion blurs, is all of the backgrounds here that are, like, shooting past and being really fast, whoa, rhymes, mm -hmm. are just this one background motion blurred in different directions with yellow overlays over it. <laughs> Because I didn't feel like drawing a bunch of other backgrounds, so I just used the same one for everything. And I did. I want to show you all a peek at actions also. So oh, the way yeah. that I like color everything in general is using actions instead of the bucket tool. I want to make the background go away. This is the most fun part about working in Photoshop, <laughs> is going through all of your shit. Well, that's all of sure it. Make sure you're uh, labeling and grouping stuff so that it's not... Yeah, you can see all my files, or all my groups are punch. named. Like, this one is the Matryoshka, this one is the punching effects. There's mm -hmm. Aaron, here's the fist punch, this is the cube. Yeah. Oh, that's group one. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> cringe, cringe. Cringe. Crowded as cringe. Yeah. Alright, so I can get rid of motion blurred backgrounds. Speed lines, paint wall. Oh, a trap! You can um, you can do more than three keyframe states if you expand the um, how many frames it can look ahead and look back. Because I remember one time when I was animating my junior film, I really needed to see like the full scope, so I had like ten frames in view at the same time, and. <laughs> oh, I think that d do they mean like by keyframe states? Do they mean um? You can only adjust position, opacity, and style. Like, I don't think they're talking about um, oh. onion skin. Ooh. Talking specifically about the states, like the keyframe states. Yeah. Yeah, there, there are only the little ones. Yeah, like, y usually I just use keyframes in Photoshop as, like, little additions to whatever I've animated. Um, mm -hmm. I... If I'm like doing like serious stuff, I definitely don't do any of that kind of movement in Photoshop um, because it'd be bad. <laughs> yeah. Or if it's like yeah, or if yeah. it's just like a simple repositioning, and I want it to look really specific, I'll like transform, do it by hand uh, after it's all animated. But that's a stupid thing to do, and you guys shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I do that. Too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. In that case, then yes, I do the exact same thing. Quick quick intro to actions is you can... Actions are just a thing in Photoshop where you can make it do multiple things in a row as, like, a sequence. So I have this one that is... After I select something, if I click the action, it will expand my selection slightly, and then invert the selection, and then fill it in, and then deselect everything. So let's say, like, I want to put one color behind Aaron, but it's all these different um, like shapes, so if I wanted to bucket it, I would have to like oh, I would have to bucket like each individual thing separately mm -hmm. and then bucket always like leaves a little bit oh, it's actually not doing it right now bucket usually looks bad and like leaves weird gaps so the thing that I would do is select outside and then I could use my action for invert fill and it'll just fill everything in. Yeah. And that's also how I color everything normally. That's how I color stuff just when we're drawing on stream even. Yeah. Is mm -hmm. I'll select like the shapes that I want colored and then I'll use my fill action to just fill them in. Mm -hmm. And like this is a lifesaver in animation. Yeah, and it, it helps a lot if you have a really, really textured brush. Yeah. And it leaves like because with the brushes that I use for animation, I yeah. never get the I never get the halo anyway, so I yeah. just use the fill tool. But if you're using something like really crumbly, the action thing helps a lot. Yeah, because yeah, it'll select slightly past your line art. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we need to say this, but you don't need a Joy-Con to do this. You can oh yeah, sorry. Set action <laughs> to key commands on your yeah. computer. Yeah. For me, it's uh, Function F two. Yeah. I just hit lead. that. So I can I can do like a very quick um, like create new action. So you just click the little create button right here, and then 
Let's make it fill new. So then it's it, now it's recording because I made a new one. So select. I've selected something. Oh wait, I don't. Want, I don't actually want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll, oh, shit. That'll fuck up the action. Yeah, you don't. This is something like if you want me to go over more specifically to you can just ask me. All right, fill new. I want to record. So we're gonna go. No, fuck! I did it. You need to select before. I need to you select record. it first. Uh, the, <laughs> just for this specific. The action. reason being is, um, <laughs> it just executes the command. Um, and if yeah. you if you have something kind of nebulous in there, like select, okay. it's gonna be like select what, and yeah. then not work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So record for real. So now it's recording, and I can just go through whatever action I would normally go through, which is, like selection modify, expand. I want it to expand two pixels every time I do it. So it'll be, I'll change it to two. And then edit, fill. So it fills it with whatever the color I have selected is. And then select, deselect. Mm -hmm. So that's a way to get your color to go outside the lines by a little bit, or at least under the lines a little bit so that you don't get that white halo. Mm -hmm. So now I can stop recording. So now we have this new action that when I play it, It'll do that. It'll yeah. expand the selection, fill it in, and then deselect. And you can set the actions to be whatever hotkey you want. Yeah. Um. But this is how I color everything, and it's very fast, and looks good, and is efficient, and I love it. Same. So it's like, I don't use the bucket tool for anything, because it's unreliable and bad, <laughs> compared to this. Yeah. And this is something I learned at an animation studio. They're like, this is how we color stuff. And I was like, Ugh. Yeah. This is an amazing that, color palette, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Sonic looks like now. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay, did I want to talk about anything else? Oh, I wanted to look a little bit at some of the frames. Because I know, like, when he's hopping up here, like... Like, this, these frames of him coming up from the bottom, like, this is on threes. Um, these two drawings where he's leaping, these are on fours. So it's like, you don't have to have stuff be, like, ones and twos all the time for it to, like, look nice still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, this Aaron floating at the top here, like, when he just comes up from the top of this thing, that's on sixes. Mm -hmm. So, like, mm -hmm. I have stuff that's on sixes in my yeah, final animation. I notice it's sort of a rookie thing that a lot of people want to immediately start to animating all on ones and try to make it look super smooth and stuff, yeah. but it's really just going to trip you up, make you take because way longer. Because animating on ones is the hardest. <laughs> and it doesn't mean you're the best if you can do it. Yeah. Sometimes it just, sometimes you just, it does not call for it. You don't need to do that. Yeah. Yeah, like it doesn't look like I'm holding for a really long time on the same drawings because like there's other stuff moving and there's other yeah. actions happening like I know on on like my animation that I did a long time ago of um Goku Goku Noko Extreme Noko from Yokai Watch yeah love that man <laughs> it's like I have stuff on there that's on like eights because there's so many things moving at once that it's like if one thing is holding for a couple frames but three other things yeah. are moving like it doesn't need to always be on ones and twos Oh, the thing that I did for this animation also is because everything was getting kind of big and it was pretty long is I exported out the animation of just the line art like we were telling you earlier mm -hmm. how to export transparent so I exported out just the line art and put that video into a new PSD when I was coloring it so that it would like function a lot better did someone turn off select group no it's just not doing it Uh, but yeah, a trap. It's like um, animating on ones. You need to be so specifically prepared for when you plan your animation, uh, because the spacing between frames becomes way more important. Because what a lot of people do on ones erroneously is they'll in between all their twos just outright, and that just kills any sense of like timing timing and spacing between the lines on the frames so it's just all really even and like nothing has any impact and it all feels floaty 
Yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to show, though. It's like animating. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, if you're starting out, uh, mess around with twos and try to learn how to mess with, like, fours, fives, sixes, and stuff, because that still looks really good and really cool. Yeah. I can't really show much of how I, like, transform literally everything and never draw anything twice. Yeah. Because it would just, it would just be a demo at that point, but I do a lot of transforming. The number of new drawings I have in things is way lower than you'd think it was. If you <gasps> Thank you, Roya. I'm if gonna... you have a lot of new drawings, um, you're a sucker. <laughs> Not, like, necessarily, but, You can like... do whatever you want. <laughs> Bring that over here. So this is what Ryan was talking about. Can I open this in a new tab? You can zoom in. Oh no, it just does it that way. Like if you look at like the tentacles, like they're moving like really kind of choppily. Like especially at the end, like this one over here is like moving really like, that's on actually eights, I think. Yeah. But because there's so many other things happening at once, it, it's not as important for every individual element to be on the same frame rate. Yeah. And this was a bitch to composite, though. <laughs> because coloring it with all these separate line art layers not going the same frame rate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and breaking up frame rate on stuff makes stuff look really cool and varied, so... Yeah. Yeah, I like doing it. That. It's like, it's just more fun. Yeah, I think I'm good now. Okay. It's all you, Omar. Where's my thing? Oh, I will open it. Yeah. Gonna open Omar's animation. Did I put it in here? Is yours Mastroika? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Reading Photoshop format. Reading Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Reading UK Photoshop has a board. lot of Reading good limited Photoshop. animation. Mine's only like, I think, 63 megabytes. Though. Mine is two and a half gigs and it opened like immediately. Well, yours sucks. That's so. true. <laughs> 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 oh, it is letting me move it now. Now y'all can experience the Reading Photoshop format with us. Reading Photoshop format. Reading mm -hmm. Photoshop format. Reading Photoshop format. <laughs> I think you can also save out actions and like send them to people like I think that's a thing you can do in Photoshop is I could like share my action with other people because I think that's what Gunner did for me when I was working mm -hmm. there yeah because I tried to set up maybe, an action maybe it would have opened faster well, if you ever want me to show you how to do it yeah. maybe if you maybe it would open faster if it didn't also have the 2 gigabyte one open. That's probably true. Yeah. <laughs> but However, we're, we're halfway there. <laughs> halfway there. It is too late. Yeah, I didn't think to close this one first. Yeah, have, one thing anything? you should not do is have two big files open at once. Oh, I yeah. don't know why you would ever need to have two big files, op big files open at once, but... Sometimes I have to duplicate groups. We should we should show how to do that. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Duplicate that's, that's groups that's from one PSD into another PSD oh, and that's yeah. the only time I ever have to have both open at once. Mm -hmm. But you should not be working in two big ones at the same time. You will die. Because this happens. Yeah. And that's that's not really just a Photoshop thing that any program where you try to open Omar, stop writing poop file. on my sticky notes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, Omar, if you want a new sticky note to write down notes for what you want to show, you can do that. And I looked over, and Omar's writing poop and poopy <laughs> on my sticky note of things I wanted to remember to Got show. Yeah. Wow, this really is just taking the piss. Taking the piss. That was a stage sip. What? There's nothing in it. I have done that like eight times this stream because I ran out of water and it was just ice, but I just kept drinking. Oh. That's just the, um... The audio. Yeah, that's the audio of the animation, which we don't need. Yeah, close that bitch. Alright, um, save changes. No! Okay. Let me real quick... Edit to purge video cache. Yeah, and then you can show them how to duplicate files between Photoshop documents. Because I think that's a super helpful thing to be able to do. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. Okay, then I'll show it. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. 
Okay, hello. Uh, so Hi, Omar's here. What is... Fuck? What is the fuck? Um, you tell me. So, this was my part from the Game Grumps animated. Why are they... Omar V. Pazam says your eyeshadow on point. Thank you. Okay. Oh, it's really chugging now. <laughs> uh, we could maybe just close Photoshop altogether if it's like being a bastard and reopen it again. That might be the move. Yeah, it might have it might have ate some eggs when it uh, opens two big files at once. <laughs> okay, I can, I can. I'll reopen it for you. Just a I know where the file is. Hopefully, just it shouldn't moment. take that long to yeah. reopen it. We need to, sometimes you gotta let Photoshop touch its breath. Yeah. Instead of just clearing the cache, you can just fully close the whole thing and then it's always beautiful when you reopen it. Yeah. If you're having a problem, chances are, if you close it and reopen it, you'll be good. Yeah. A lot of things, a lot of times Photoshop just gets such a fat cache built up that it can't do anything until you close it completely. She's working on it. Oh, it's really it, it loaded really fast and then it stopped loading. Yeah. Usually whenever, whenever I try to click that thing, it always... Oh. I never try to click that thing. I'm afraid of her always. Yeah, she always does. Sorry, y'all gotta deal with me being sweaty, but I'm sweaty. I gotta deal with nobody it. breathing through your noses. Don't do it, Hugo. <laughs> You're not implying, allowed to smell my air. Implying that I have to breathe. Shit. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, maybe this will be better. Maybe it won't. Who cares? Gotta hit cancel again. Who cares? Just let Let's just who, play it. Who let gives a render. fuck? No, nothing is <laughs> turned on. Wow! <laughs> this is my part. It took me four years. Uh, oh, do you have everything as a smart object? No. What are those? Well, those are like where I had like the colors. And, like, oh, okay. None of my animations <laughs> like smart objects. Um, yeah, see, that's going way better. Um, so, turn up the opacity. Oh, th this is something I did before we yeah. all started, is I went through the entire audio clip and, um, wrote down, like, all of the dialogue that they were saying, like, on the frames that they were saying it, so that we could use that to, like, board everything. Uh, I did that in Premiere, because you can't do it in Photoshop, because Photoshop doesn't have scrubbable audio. Yeah, so, uh, pretty much this was just a, uh... A, a, a lip sync scene. Um, God, it's so animated. And I really, I really went nuts. Uh, oh, look at him go! Animating it. Uh, I spent a lot of time on Aaron and way less time on Dan. Because um, <laughs> Aaron's the focus of the scene. Yeah. Oh, fuck, um, the opposite. So, so let me go into how I approached this kind of lip sync. Um, I have him broken up into so many itty bitty tiny pieces, um, because a lot of parts Wait. moved and transformed differently. Zoom in on the timeline so we can see all those fucking frames, you maniac. Yeah, I see like, where I'm like fives and sixes. Omar's like, if it's less than a two, I'll die. Uh, nope. So it's like the More feet. Than a two? Yeah. I have it separate on the feet and this arm because <laughs> it's not connected to the torso. Uh, his head is obviously its own thing. His, <laughs> his hair, toothpick! His little hair piece his is its own thing. Um, it might look his, like it's hard to keep track of, but if you that's know your why pilots, you, not... Yeah, that's just, why you name stuff. Yeah. As long as you like name things and keep them organized, it's like only more helpful to have more groups, in my yeah. opinion. Um, let's get rid of all that in the background so it's not distracting. Uh, but yeah, so... Pretty much that this is this is for my final line, um, and before I was there, I of course had my rough pass, oh. um, oh, where I roughs. I worried less about keeping everything consistent and just tried to figure out like what would be funny, <laughs> um, how I wanted it to like how I wanted him to move and like actually get from place to place. Uh, I used the okay. I used the uh, uh, dialogue that Ryan has marked here as like anchor points. Hold on, I have an even rougher path. 
pass. Yes, that's what I live for. Um, first pass is like as good as it gets. So this is what I oh. started with. <laughs> 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 oh, and he bald. just turns into Olaf. <laughs> He's bald. So, so this is where we started. Um, he gets so small. <laughs> yeah, where? Because I was just like, all right, how do I want to hit these? How do I want to like? What do I want to happen here? And then I used that as a. Uh, Everyone's just saying wig. <laughs> 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 yeah. Because, like, it doesn't matter what that one looks like. I'm just trying to, like, figure out what yeah. I want to do. Okay. First pass of animation should always look whack, but, like, be informative. Yeah. What'd you try to do? I just tried to turn on the rough layer, but it got mad at me. See, this is why, like, when you're, in, like, actually working in a file, it's good to save out iterations. Yeah. So it's like when you're done with the roughs, you save out version 2 and delete yeah. all the roughs in that version yeah. so that it's yeah. not bogging your file down. But don't don't just delete them. Save out an iteration, please. Yeah. yeah. You want to be able to go back to it if you need to. That's the way I usually do it is like I'll export my roughs as a video and then oh. do the line over mm -hmm. that video just to get it as yeah, weensy, weensy as possible. That's a thing that happens if you like take a folder and move it into another folder, sometimes it'll show all of the frames in that but group. If, yeah, but if you move the timeline, no, if you just move the thing, it goes away. Can I yeah, I don't, have to, I don't have to move it over the whole timeline. It's literally, I just have to move to the frame I was on and off it and then back again, and it gets rid of that glitch. Yeah. I think that's actually a really fun glitch, because I like being able to see all of the frames. And at least for me, it's usually like a two-second fix to get it to stop doing it. Yeah. Oh my god. What's happening? It's just not doing anything. How big is your PSD? Uh, where does it say? It says 2 point some gigabytes. Yeah. But, but like, it, it's giving me such sass right now. And it's not even showing, like, the loading wheel is the weird part. Uh, yeah, I made sure to, I, like, prepped my files pretty specifically knowing what my computer usually handles well. <laughs> I swear it wasn't this big on my computer. Because I usually don't let my documents get to a gigabyte. <laughs> and I can... Oh, it's right there. There it is. Yeah, we have it open on a second ha, computer. Ha, ha, ha. I'm just opening Photoshop on Omar's computer to spite her. God, it just ain't... Hold on, I okay, we gotta kill. I don't know why it's being so yeah, trying to Trying to stream and run big Photoshop animation files may be a challenge, but... I don't know how to check, because you don't have it down there. Well, I can... Ow! I know where Jesus! Jesus. Fucking shank me, why don't you? <laughs> I will. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the iTunes experience. I've, like, had it. <laughs> I literally had it. And you're going through ten menus now instead. See? Okay, but... It's not Come how on. big it is in Photoshop. I gotta walk a little bit. My feet fell asleep. Excuse me. It's like a different thing. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, let's try, let's try closing Photoshop again. Maybe it's because it has those smart objects in there. Maybe. Photoshop hates smart objects. So much. If your computer's not, like, saucy. Big fan of the sizzle. Which is why they can- That's crazy washing dishes. Smart objects can do a lot, but that's the drawback, is that if you don't have a great computer, Photoshop's gonna struggle. Oh. Okay, my feet Photoshop are is, like, brick. Where did your feet go? They fell asleep. Challenge, excuse me. It was cook sounds, and then it was cleaning sounds. Are you yes. still trying to close it? Yeah. Open task manager. You hit control alt, I'll hit delete. <laughs> Teamwork. Sorry for the technical <laughs> difficulties. I'm not, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew Photoshop would only be able to like take so much guff. End her. Tell me. I'm just gonna I was just gonna open the PSD directly. I'm gonna open it from photos shop. Ooh. 
we'll get there. Wow, she's so speedy. Until it gets to the end. Oh, man. Yeah, this is what happened last time. <laughs> we'll get there. I knew this was going to Photoshop has left the chat. That's true. <laughs> I'll just delete my smart oh. outfits first thing. Yeah. And do it. Photoshop hates smart objects. Photoshop. That's so oh, weird oh that. God, is that a hot pocket? That's so weird that the Photoshop it's file is bigger in Photoshop than it is. Not I don't like in know what Photoshop. that means. I don't. I don't know. That was like a thing that happened. I think it's like how much um like space it's taking up like. To like run. cache space and RAM yeah. and stuff. No, it's not just like the file itself. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't agree with it morally. All right. Yeah, you gotta hit cancel. Delete those right, smart objects. Right. I hate them. Yeah. I mean, they're literally just images, so I can alter it. Um, how do I? This select? is shift. Delete. Delete. Is this the? Yeah, that's the clip. You don't need that. Smatarbjects. 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 Alright, we did. You can also turn off the drop shadow if you're showing stuff with drop shadow on it. You can just click hide on that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. that. You don't have to worry about doing it until it's like visible anyway. Yeah, but I want to do it while it's invisible so it doesn't give me guff. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm pr I'm I'm trying to prep this file before I ask it to do anything because it's so dramatic. Yeah, I was prepping files today while I was waiting on loading screens in Monster Hunter. Mastrika. Uh, yeah. So this is a uh, this is an example of how I used uh, like the transformation tools in Phoboshaub. This is an example of how Omar effectively used girl and by, power. And by <laughs> transfer, and like I don't mean like the the keyframing. I mean like I literally just did it with. Yeah. I did. I put on like a little bit of overshoot and had it all fade off at the same time. Uh, because why would I do this in a different program when I can do it in like two minutes in Photoshop? I I hate working with actual like text in programs like yeah. trying to do text in like after effects or premiere is so annoying mm -hmm. i'd rather just draw it <laughs> yeah time drawing it looks better yeah yeah but uh back to this my my shitty rough drawings Whoa. <gasps> <gasps> uh. i love dan's face there <laughs> And I didn't Oof. use that Dan at all. And then I went over it. So this is a lot of my workflow is, like, once I have, like, a rough idea of what I want, I, my next phase is, like, refining it. So, like, the Mastroika here, like, this is entirely different than what I storyboarded it as. <laughs> I was, like, oh, no, and make it go away. What is that? <laughs> Oh, Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, because I wanted to like, I wanted to <gasps> exaggerate okay, it more. Um, and I really wanted to uh, show like just like the fucked up faces that I made because like when it plays, like it feels feels good feels like it works. It feels like, yeah, this is happening. And then when you look at the drawings, you wish none yes. of them were happening. And then we have drawings like these. Oh, like love this. that. Oh, looks like Turtle Frisk. So I, uh, this is my only transformation. <laughs> this is the only thing that I transformed in mine, other than the oh. body. Um, uh, I, w I just, uh, I did a lot of this kind of straight ahead uh, in my rough pass um, because I knew like where the anchor points kind of were and what I kind of wanted them to look like uh, and I just knew I wanted to make it really animated so I'd like I'd have like this drawing and be like okay how do I get there from here Space Rot is the frame that it reminds you of from Ed, Ed and Eddie the one where Jimmy is sipping out of a straw 
Because that has inspired Omar's entire art style. Yeah, that's my favorite. His name is Jimmy, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Johnny's the bald one. I got, uh... So for me, like, a lip sync is all about spacing more so than a lot of other animation because if if you just kind of have everything really loose in a um, lip sync <laughs> sorry I'm trying to google Jimmy slurping out of the straw <laughs> Jimmy sipping um, I forget what I was saying <laughs> sorry we're, we're looking oh. at we're looking at, at a, no. at a Oh, God. No! I just need the image. I need it. I need it. I need it. <laughs> I need it. Put it in the Put chat. Put it in the chat. Yeah. <gasps> ah! Don't worry. I'm sending the pic. No, I keep hitting function. <laughs> okay, sorry. Continue yeah. with animation. <laughs> yeah, so with lip sync... Hold on, you can't see the text. You can't see what I'm lip syncing to. Um. Oh, ew. Oh. My computer screen has gone black. Oh. 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 What the fuck? Well, I think. Are we good? No one's saying anything. So wow. Um. OBS is now fully a white screen. Can you guys, like, see shit? Can you hear us? Has anything happened on your end? So much is happening on our end. No one's saying anything. God, I guess... Y'all, did anything weird happen to the visuals? Because we can't even see OBS anymore. Oh, I guess we can look at the stream over here. It's lost connection for us. Oh. 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 <laughs> what the fuck was that? Did you guys get any of that... Huh. Let's wait a little bit. I'll just I'll just refresh this because we have the chat on that one. That didn't happen for y'all? Did that happen? Both our computer screen and then Cintiq screen both went black for like ten seconds and then things came back like one at a time and like the OBS preview screen was just a white screen for like twenty seconds. Great stuff. I'll do a quick save so it'll save as a smaller document. Uh, okay, we're fine. Are you back? Are yeah, you we're good. Yeah, it's, it's working over here now. Um, give it a refresh smile. Well, yeah. if, if they can't see it. Oh, we Gucci again. Yeah, we're back. Thought it was just my Wi-Fi. Yeah, I don't know. No, what that happened. was weird. That was some OBS wild mouth shit. Uh. What were we saying? God, I don't know. I'm just gonna talk Lip about. Lip sync, Mastroika. I'm just gonna talk about Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, Dan's storyboards, I really didn't, like, think about. I was just like, yeah, he's mad, and then he laughs. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he did. But his, I, uh... I broke up into a bunch of layers so it would be easy to yeah. approach. This is what I did for one of the scenes that Aaron's in, and I think I told you that you should just do the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, just like so, put his mouth on a whole nother layer and not fuck mm -hmm. with it. Yeah, that's what I did. So I did yeah. a three frame boil of Dan and then just had that go, which I then transformed as I needed to match up to uh, his his mouth shape. As opposed to redrawing Dan like 90 yeah. times, it's drawing Dan four times and saving a ton of time. Yeah. Because we have to think about that kind of thing. And because yeah. the and because it's a boil, it doesn't look like anything was like copied. Yeah, yeah. boils are great, so nice. Which is a great trick if you love boils, which is very relevant to the Ed and Nettie. Yeah, yeah. They love it. They love that shit. Just yeah. redraw something three times and just so it's like just a little bit wiggly, and then just loop that, and you're fine. Mm -hmm. It saves so much time. And then, like Omar said, she transformed it so he would like lean into the poses a little bit. Yeah, so it felt a little more alive than him just like standing there talking, uh, just kind of flapping his mouth. Um. I like this question. Off topic, but will there be any characters in Be Kind My Neighbor that will wear tie dye shirts? <laughs> Prying minds need to know. Uh, no? 
tie-dye a whole lot. <laughs> well, now you gotta put someone in tie-dye. Oh, sorry, Stefan, your toes. Um, and I don't know how... There's something I want to talk about, but I don't know how relevant it is for other animators um, as it is for me. But, like, um, when I see... When I see something like this, like... Where the drawings are, like, kind of pretty disparate. Like, he's already, like, in this other pose entirely, mm -hmm. and a lot has changed on the face. Uh, I always have, like, a... Like, I always want to, like, hold myself back a little bit, because I'm worried that, like, it's just gonna look weird and, like, poppy in a way I don't want to. Uh, same with, like... Ooh. Where was that? Yeah, these two drawings, I was like, <laughs> I'm worried about that, uh, but like playing it through. It looks great. Yeah. Because uh, the way that it's like spaced and at the speed that it's at, uh, those bigger jumps feel natural and let you, mm -hmm. it's a way to, having like jumps like that and spacing like that is a way when you're animating on twos and ones, um, like I do, uh, Ooh, yeah, except I for have, his have feet, um, um, on twos and ones like I do, uh, having those, like, more disparate moments and, uh, jumps, so, and you have a lot of, like, settles, so it's, like, you have these two, like, to go here, Ooh. before it just pops back. So you like you have time to see and register this pose before it moves on to the next one. What were you gonna say, Hugo? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you notice, not, this doesn't like actually matter in the long run, but say you wanted to do this. Um, so Aaron's line art is thinner than Dan's, and if you wanted it to be as thick as Dan's line art, um. what you can do is with the layer styles we were talking about before, you mm. can actually match it by just giving it a. Um, Stroke. Outline. Stroke. Yeah, Aaron's just ended up being thinner than Dan's because uh, mm -hmm. I see it for a he was more detailed. Yeah, yeah. No, there's there's no problem with it. I was just like, ooh, Wait, this is something on. people might like to know. That's the wrong uh, folder. No. I do it to the line folder. Was oh was that was the there's only was, lines though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I turned off the colors and stuff. All right. Uh, Stroke. The effects aren't visible right now either. You bahool again. Okay. I had to make the effects <laughs> visible again. Stroke. That's satin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah, you can change the thickness. So let's Wait. just make it one. Uh, Turn off drop shot. Give, give him two. Yeah, let's give him two. <gasps> yeah, there we oh, go. that's oh. horrific. God. And you want to play it through it too? Yes. See how chunky it is? Oh, I kind of love it. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. Some of the stuff gets squished together, but yeah. So that's just a shortcut if you wanted to make yeah. your line art thing. If you're like, I kind of want my lines to be chunkier. Make them chunkier. It takes like two seconds. Make them chunkier. Oh, I, I agree, a -Tribe. I've done that before too. They said, fun fact, outer glow often looks better than stroke. But yeah. yeah. Because you can change like the softness and like the noise. Yeah. Yeah. And the, like... I love layer effects, just in general. Like, zoomed out when they both have their, uh... Like, drop shadows on... Uh... Yeah, and, like, like, with color and everything, yeah, too. Yeah, they, like, like, visually... Like, you don't notice oh, yeah. those things. Um, because they, like, visually take up the same amount of, like, value. So, like, playing it here... Like, his, like, Aaron's lines are still thicker, but when it's not just the line art, you you get way less of that feeling that he's got, like, um, these, like, thin, dainty lines. Yeah. Nothing wrong with experimenting with your animation. Exactly There's everything right. wrong with it. Never change. Never grow. Uh, and the way I do a lot of lip sync and, like, find a lot of these, like, po these, like, mouth shapes is the way I think most people do it. Whereas like ma 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 ma, 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 ma,
Ma 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 straw, straw, and like doing that, like as I'm like drawing it. Uh, so I I get like things that kind of feel right, and I usually don't like mirror reference it. Like I don't want to draw like exactly how my mouth looks because I know like I want to draw how my mouth feels yeah. making those shapes, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming out to the stream, uh, Linksy77. Yeah, peace. Ryan, what was the thing you were talking about? Oh. About moving files, I folders? Won't do it. File folders? Can I drive or are you done? Yeah. Yeah, so this is this is another super handy tip. Pardon me, you go. You gotta move. Ooh. <laughs> This was something that, like, when I was first trying to learn to do stuff in Photoshop, I was like, if this was only an option, I could do anything, but I can't do it. I will die instead. <laughs> something that's really important is being able to move, like, like if I want this whole folder of just just Aaron's hair piece, <laughs> like if I if I need to duplicate <laughs> if I need to duplicate that to like another Photoshop document, that's something you can do by right clicking and oh this is covered up let me <laughs> no we can't see <laughs> okay okay i just had to move the thing like right click and then duplicate group and you can select which document yeah. so you can either another photoshop document that you have open currently or a new one you can duplicate it to like that Mm -hmm. Oh, create vi Oh, God. All right, cool. So in case I needed to ever put... <gasps> I need to make a new document first. Okay. Because it's an animation file, so it just automatically made every frame five seconds long. Oh, <laughs> I was no. like, why isn't it playing? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you have two animation files... Yeah. And this is something that just works in, like, non-animation also. Like, you can do this. Yeah. Like, if you're just drawing something and want to duplicate something. But you can duplicate the group and duplicate it to your other piece. So then you have this thing in the other document. Mm -hmm. Without having to, like, do some weird import stuff. You can just yeah, it's slap it over there. Yeah, it's super and I use it all the time. Now that's fucking animation. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, just, just the worm. Just the worm on a string. Make it so it's just his feet and the worm and nothing else. All right, where, where are his feet? Uh, shoes? Yeah. Duplicate group. To anim. Oh, it's the color! It's just the color for his shoes! <laughs> yeah, so now we've got that. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> I forgot to draw the ear on one of the frames. That's pretty hype. No, give me the right one. <laughs> no, his ear! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Runaway ear. But see, you can also see, like, a lot of these drawings for the little hair shape are not, like, new drawings. Yeah, I like, didn't... Like, it's being moved around behind the hair because there's no reason to have to redraw that every time. Yeah, I... A hundred percent, I, uh... I just transformed a boil of the hair uh, just so it would be done, like, super quick. Mm -hmm. And we're right to do so. Yeah, and it doesn't look any different. Taking yeah. shortcuts is good, as long as it doesn't look cheap. Unless you're trying to make it look cheap. Fuck yeah, it unless up. that's the point, then go for it. But, yeah. Yeah. I feel like we don't really have anything else to, like, go yeah. over. This yeah. Is, this is things we do. So, um, is there any other, like, it, this can be, like, general animation yeah. questions. Or anything in Photoshop, something about post-production. <laughs> we can do, like, a separate post-production stream sometime, because I do... Quite a bit of things to yeah, my stuff. I don't want to try to open Premiere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's all good. So, yeah, if you have any general animation questions, Photoshop questions, yes. Photoshop animation questions, right, make one of the slingle things. Slingle, man, let's bring it Make one of the things. You know? Make one of those things for animation. Oh, I don't know how to <laughs> fucking do that shit. <laughs> I've never used those. Omar's talking about, like, the timing charts for animation, yeah. which are, like, like, here are the in betweens, or here are the keyframes that I've drawn like illustrated by these lines so it's like this is a drawing that I have this is a drawing that I have this is a third drawing that I have so like the in-between shapes for these 
You don't actually draw the shapes. I'm just doing this to, like, illustrate. Yeah. Like, these would be the in-betweens for it. So then, if I wanted it to be, like, the timing for it to be a little weird, it's like, oh, well, I want this in-between to actually be closer mm -hmm. to this frame. So then you'd put another in-between between those. Mm -hmm. Timing charts are fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, a trap. We did cover clipping masks in the first part. Yeah, I would only use a timing chart if I was handing off the animation for someone else to in-between. Yeah. Like, if you're in-betweening your own stuff, making timing charts is... Pointless. I, I like, I don't want to, like, say it's pointless if it helps some people, but, like, I think for me at least, there's, like, no I point. See, I see the use in it for, like, um, like, if you're doing, like, a really complex animation with a lot of moving parts, like, I could see how that'd be really helpful for managing it for yourself, mm -hmm. um, but most of the time when I'm animating for myself, I'm just like, yes, fucking go with it. <laughs> yeah. <Woo! laughs> yeah. Where is my... I do want to, like, I just want to find, like, a transparent video that I have somewhere that I can fuck around with. I don't know, like, where I would, though. I was gonna suggest that, yeah, because I think we've got... Yeah, yeah, there you go. I don't know, this is something I should have prepped ahead of time if I wanted to, like mess around with transparent videos and stuff because I don't know like which of these videos are transparent that I could use for anything do, 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 do. oh yeah the extension we use is Anim Desin 2 That's fine. and if you google Anim Desin 2 you will find a Vimeo video by a French name and you click that and you can get everything there All oh, the, how to the install it is going to be in the video and there will be links in the description and um, yeah that's how you spell it yeah, you, uh... You can also you, see how to spell it, like, up here where it shows... Oh, I gotta close this folder. You, like, up here if you need to look up, look it up later. Yeah. You need to download, um, an extension manager that's free. Mm -hmm. Called, like... Anastasi. You yeah. can then Anastasi immediately delete it once you're done with it, but... Um, yeah. But yeah, it tells you that, like, in the description, I think, but it's mm -hmm. always the thing that would trip me up, is that you can't install it through Adobe Extension Manager, it just won't work anymore for some reason. Yeah. So you have to install it through the um, Anastasi Extension Manager. Which they tell you how to do. Yeah, yeah. it'll it have takes, a link for it. It takes literally two seconds. Yeah. And it just makes, it gives you all the conveniences in the world mm -hmm. for animation. Whoa, do you draw that? Nope. Oh my! Oh god. my fucking god! Crazy I just want to show the thing again. What thing? An example of animated clipping masks. Oh, okay. Oops. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the guy who made Anim Destin, like, is a developer for Adobe, like, mm -hmm. specifically. Um, it's weird that it's not just, like, integrated already to yeah. Photoshop. Because it's the they only thing... They don't want thing, you to have nice things. It's the only thing that makes animating in it bearable. <laughs> or, like, worthwhile. Yeah. Because I, I love drawing in Photoshop, so being able to just animate it in it is really nice. But, like, without Anim Destin, it wouldn't be, like, functional. Right. So what are you doing now? You'll see. I'll, okay. I'll get there. I won't see. Well, Omar won't see because Omar hates to see things. That's true. Everyone knows this about me. So it's like if you oh. want this like moving texture to be like on something that's oh, not right, moving. Right, right. Okay, cool. Or on something else that is also animated. Like there are ways to do that. Oh, this is that glitch Atrab was talking about, where if you move a folder it'll show all of the frames, but then you, yeah. just, you just like for me it's key. just you arrow key back and forth once and then it's gone. Yeah. So then I want this to be this texture to be clipped on so I can just convert to a smart object. And clipping mask it onto mm -hmm. this shape, and then mess with whatever layer yeah, mode I wanted to have. The alt key hovering between the layers. Do, do, do. 
And it's like, oh, it's got that little moving texture on the moving thing. Because mm-hmm. I know some people asked about that, so I figured we'd just yeah. show it again in case That's someone knew That's the biggest hack. How to have animated clipping masks onto animation. Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is my circle that's moving. I think we're like done. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't just, like, anything bounce. Else Unless there is something else you guys want to <laughs> see. In which case, do let us know. Yeah, I think. I feel like we covered lots of stuff. Yeah. And we can upload this later. Donate a million dollars. Yeah, someone should donate a million like dollars. Like a million dollars. If it's if it's not a million, don't bother. Can someone donate like a million dollars? Do, 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 do. Why is that stuck in my head? What is that? I don't know. Is someone else doing that? No, you no. just right? started doing it. Do 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 I don't know what that is. Sounds like some Beach Boy shit. You're a Beach Boy. No. Beach! Donate chicken nuggets? Yeah. I could go for some chicken nuggets. Oh, see, does someone want to donate like $40 so I can order a pizza? Like, this is fun. Pizza? Yeah. Pizza. Pizza, okay. pizza. Okay, alternate universe where pizza is pizza or pizza. You mean There's like no Italy? Z's. Piss. There's definitely pizza a language for where it's just five that. people. Costs forty bucks. Yahoo! See, now we're gonna get some really whack looking shit. Yeah. I might order a pizza just to be crazy bitch. Sometimes I like to be crazy bitch. <laughs> cool. I'm really hungry and I kind of don't have food. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this I feel like Peter Millard. <laughs> <laughs> You're so this good moves at exactly animating. like nine eggs from duckvideo.avr. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what this moves like. See, this is why I say, like, don't ever use the keyframing in Photoshop, but it's fun the to fuck ball. around with. The ball! The ball! Just to get these things on a different frame rate so that you can see it. Alright, well, we're gonna stop the stream now. Okay. I Thanks hope everyone it for was coming. informative. I hope it's everything you wanted. Yeah, and uh, we can... I can upload this on my uh, YouTube, or you can check out the VOD on Twitch. Yeah, as long as it lasts. <laughs> yeah. But that's why YouTube. Okay. Thanks everyone for coming. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.